early for this, man. It's way too early for this. But I'm glad you guys showed up. <laughs> glad you guys showed up, but it's so early for this. <laughs> oh, what is good, guys? What is good? I don't normally exist at this point of time, but for this, uh, at this point of time, I will stay up. <laughs> good morning. I didn't even think you were going to be here. Good morning to you as well. <laughs> it's too early for this, all right? Guys, I'm, I'm letting you know it's way too early. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hello, people. We're... We're currently awaiting the Splatoon 3 World Championships to to undergo. We have like 15 minutes to wait, but who is up early tonight? <laughs> Dude or is still playing Splatoon 1. Up early tomorrow, tonight, this morning, whichever. <laughs> mm. You're just up late? Oh, I see, I see. Oh, Link, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. In the members chat, that goes hard, honestly. Greetings from Louisiana. How long will the tournament be? I think it's going to be like at least three hours. So we have... We have six teams. We have America. We have Europe, which is basically just Germany. We have Korea. We have, I believe, Taiwan. We have Japan and we have Korea, right? There's six teams in this tournament. And uh, currently, I mean, they'll show everything. They'll say everything to us because I'm watching the uh, the, um, the American, uh, <laughs> what's it called? The American uh, stream. Why am I streaming at 11 p.m.? You're from Pacific Standard Time, my dude. You're from Pacific Standard Time. I'm streaming at s almost 6 a.m. <laughs> this is this is a first for me. <laughs> How many days is this in time of woman? It's been a while, honestly, because like, I mean, if you heard of the European champs, it's something that I was in, I got fourth, but the f people who made, who got in first, got to go to this, which is the world champs. Um, America had their American champs like a while ago um, and that's like well that was a long time ago <laughs> it was a long time ago it was last, it was last year a long time ago and like um, yeah man no what is my opinion about the Korean team yesterday of, of, of no tactical usage that's rough man that's really really rough I mean, I've seen some of their comps, and it's very different. <laughs> it's definitely very different, but we respect, you know. Hey, Phyllis. What is good, everyone? What is good? I hope you guys are getting ready. You know what? While we wait, let's actually, like, you know, if, you know, while we wait, I think it's also a good time. Um, do I have a chat on here? Yeah, dude. While we wait, we'll 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 we'll, hold, we'll do a bit of Splatoon three, all right? It's like ten. We we have to wait for ten minutes, but we'll we'll get Splatoon three up real quick, all right? Um, and do one gamba. I'll do a gamba for you guys. Actually, I'll do two gambas for you. <laughs> not six a.m. gameplay. No, I'm not playing this game today. Not today. Did I have breakfast? I haven't had breakfast yet, but I'm still wow. Okay, cool. Gamba was great today. <laughs> No, I haven't had breakfast today because I literally just woke up like 15 minutes ago. So. It's too early. I mean, also, like, I'm still fill, full for my my dinner yesterday. So, which we're still chilling. <laughs> go eat breakfast. Don't worry. During a break, I will go get breakfast, all right? Don't worry. Because I'm... It's not likely for me to, like, eat at this point in time. Like, I'm... Uh, I'll be ready to eat, like... Go eat breakfast. <laughs> I appreciate this guy, guys. I'll be, go, I'll be ready to eat at, like, maybe 10. And that'll probably be when the fit tournament finishes, so... 
Yo, we, we got loads of time. I'm like nowhere near hungry too, so. Alright, let's just this let's just do us for two, three dailies real quick. Just get our stuff real quick, and then uh we'll check out we'll check out what's going on. Oh I haven't even made a ping in the Discord. Hang on, I'm actually throwing. I also gotta buy these clothes real quick. Still from yeah, no, I had a big dinner yesterday. Mainly because I wanted to have something that would take me out and put me to sleep so I would wake up today. <laughs> right. My dailies my dailies are done. Okay. Go back to big webcam. My dailies are done. Wait, it's the morning for you, but it's midnight for you. Yup. That is how the world works. The world is not flat. Imagine that. Yeah guys, we, just so you know, we got like nine minutes until the, the the show starts i am gonna coast through the event um and basically like while the commentators are there your boy is gonna give your his his own insight while the games are going so it's gonna be a fun time you know i hope they announce but you know they might actually know there has been rumors today that they actually might announce something but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try and I'm not gonna give hope. I stayed there, up late to watch this rumor. with you, dude. Right. It's 12:50 a.m. for me, lol. It's 12:50, dude. That must be nice. <laughs> you make it sound like there's a bad thing. <laughs> I wish it was 12:50 here. <laughs> Come back, dude. <laughs> yeah, 1 a.m. go crazy, dude. 1 a.m. is nothing. You guys are. 1 a.m. is fine. Because look, I sometimes stream up until 2 a.m., all right? And that's not, that's that's like, and then it's 3 a.m. and 3 a.m. is bedtime, all right? What team am I rooting for? I've called Germany, come on. I mean, I mean, it's Europe, but obviously I want, I want Kaiser to go as far as possible, dude. And if not Germany, then Australia. Go on, Australia. Well, dude, look at the, the tables of turn. The US is watching late and Europe is watching early. Yeah, I hate it. This is why I'm not rooting for America. <laughs> this is why I'm not rooting for America. <laughs> it's not fair, man. It's not fair. <laughs> it's the only reason. Not because of the not cause of their players or anything. It's just because cause I have to. Because they get a bad time, better time to watch this, alright? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make the Discord ping real quick. So, if you're in the Discord, you might get a ping. You might get annoyed at me. Don't care. It's letting you, annoying you guys anyway. <laughs> Actually, ping more. Oh, maybe should I ping twice? <laughs> It's 6 p.m. in Hawaii. You actually have the god time zone, to be honest. Your time would be the time I wake up for work. It's 3 a.m.? What? Do you get to work at like 5? <laughs> Should you watch with you or by yourself? Yo, I mean, watch if you're... if. You, if you watch by yourself, you're free to. But if you're, if you're watching here, you're watching for the vibes, all right? <laughs> you're watching for the vibes. A little, a little thing, a little bit extra, you know. Wait, it's already the finals? Yeah, it's well, it's a six-team finals, so there's like a there's two sides to the bracket. There's like you know, there's two, there's one team here, one team here, and another team here, and then there's another part. There's one team here. One team here and another team here, you know. So I'm gonna be watching it. Hey, Lilligan, I appreciate you. I'm watching you, the Japanese and the American stream, bro. You have like three eyes to watch everything. That's crazy, dude. How many teams are there? There's only six. One team here, one team here. Yeah, exactly. Well, one. There's one team here, one team here, one team here. There might be a team over there. Not sure. We're still thinking. About, we're still thinking about it. Still being investigated, but once we figure out those uh, 
the plan so that that one team then we'll let you know we'll let you guys know what will happen you know you're just here for the announcements yeah man what if there is an announcement dude we have to we have to wait and see let's see dude i'm so down to to figure out this uh this occasion dude should i say something in chat actually you know what let's get the chat up actually um Actually, wait. That means I can I can put this down. I'll put this down from here. You're actually so happy you're live. I I know you're tired and it's early, but yeah, yeah. I'm I'm. <laughs> this is a first for me. Well, it's not even a first, but it's a uh, it's a time for me. You know, this is not a usual time where I'm gonna be. I don't normally exist at this time. <laughs> you know, um, I'm just moving things around so. All right. Okay, I think that looks good. I think that looks very good. All right. Uh, actually, I can get rid of that. I think I can do this. All right. Should I say something, in chat? All right, guys. I'm gonna go into actually. Let me just do studio mode. I just need to make sure everything's correct. So we got this, this, and then chat box. Boom. Uh, that looks okay. Let me move chat over. Actually, no, that's fine. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm gonna move. Let me move this over here. Why not? Actually, I put myself in the middle here. That's funny. Yo. All right. Okay. Okay. Dude manifested into reality. Why isn't dude in the finals? Because I didn't make it to the finals, all right? I got fourth in the European champs, so I didn't qualify. This is so sad, right? You had to be first. But I, the European champs is always stacked, so it is what it is. Woof. Woof. Flu, thank you so much for the woof, I guess. <laughs> Here's the six months. All right, guys. Uh, what's it called? We are in... Actually, I can turn studio mode off. We are in the PC. All right. Okay. I'm going to say hi, chat. All right. <laughs> it's too early for this no what do you mean slow mode oh stop it hang on let me let me do that again it's this oh i'm gonna put two s's there you go no why can't i play this man there you go Fourth times a charm. All right. It's not too early, I swear. What do you mean? It's. Do you not see what time it is? <laughs> Are we living in the same t world? <laughs> Surely not. All right. I will remove the. I will remove the the theater chat. Um, but I just wanted to say something, just because it'll be funny. <laughs> Okay, let's go back. There's there's too many chats on the screen. You guys are getting way too overstimulated, all right? You're like, oh my god, my stream is just putting too many too much stuff on the screen, and I don't know how to see. Like, <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> all right, let me just put this here. All right, there we go. That looks good. That looks brilliant, actually. That looks great. That looks great. Boom. And then PC. Here we are. My, what is my predictions? Um, I'm expecting, like, obviously, I want Kaiser to go far. But just cause Jackpot have been a team, a team team for a good while. They probably already have that team chem um, for whoever knows how long. 
It most likely will be a Japan versus Jackpot final. But we want Europe to win, right? We want Europe to win. <laughs> Come on. Also, let me know if the volume's too loud or too high or anything like that. But if Australia goes far too, we would want also want Australia to go far. And if not Australia, then we want Korea to go far. <laughs> and if not, if not Korea, then we want um, Taiwan to go far. And if, if not Taiwan, then we want America to go far. And if not America, we want Japan to go far. And if not Japan, then we want Kaiser to go far again. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a loop. It just keeps going into each other. Japan has got to go down, so we'll see, dude. So two, three world champs. Is the volume okay, guys? Let me know. Obviously, I want it to be louder than the stream, so you guys know what stream is going on. What's the most important stream? You know. Mm -hmm. Volume's okay? Oh, they get a plate if they win. Wow. Is there... I wonder if there'll be English commentary, but I guess this is this is, this is is how it starts. Still cry, but it's good. Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. Alright, guys. So currently the same stuff about Splatoon 3. Just so you guys know. Is it a little quiet? Well, it's not like you're going to understand any of this anyway. <laughs> like, be for real, right? Do you understand what is what they're saying? I bet you don't. Unless you, unless you know Japanese. <laughs> we wish dude was here. Watch the NA cast? Okay, I'll watch. This is on Twitch, so. Okay, wait, wait. Let me find the NA cast. <laughs> I, got, I got you. I got you. Nintendo of America, here we go. Alright, I'm watching the NA cast. Okay, the NA cost literally is the same stream, so just so you just so you're aware. They don't have the the North American cost just yet. どうぞ皆さん最後までお楽しみいただければと思います。どうぞ。よろしくお願いいたします。さあ、それではこれから行われる決勝トーナメントのルールについてです。昨日の予選リーグの結果を踏まえてトーナメントの組み合わせが決ま
There's no subtitles in the regular movies nowadays. What you, want? you don't need subtitles. It's all good. I'm translating. Please go to bed. Bro, what do you mean? It's 6 a.m. How are the maps chosen? Uh, they're pre-picked. So this is the whole map list right here. So the first games are starting on Splat Zone's Blue. Oh, Splat Zone's Bluefin is so fun, dude. I love this map. What do you guys think of Splat Zone's um, Bluefin, dude? It's 1 a.m. for you? Must be nice. <laughs> Task for deciding, yeah, yeah. Alright, this is the bracket, guys. So you got Kaiser at the top, Jackpot here, and Japan. They're already in the semis. So I think we watch Kaiser vs. Korea first. Australia versus Taiwan. The reps from Australia, New Zealand will face off against Smart Roast Chickens, our team from Taiwan. And you look Here's at the that last of my bits. Hope you make it to Worlds next time, dude. Next time, man. Maybe next time. We'll have to see it happen. You want to stay up and watch this, but East is ouch. I would love it to be 1 a.m., all right? You guys are spoiled. You guys are so spoiled. Phantom Thief is a nice same shame. It wasn't played. Of, you haven't played Persona yet. Same. Greasy Goblins is a great name too. Yeah, no, honestly, Greasy Goblins probably the best name though. If we're gonna be honest, we don't have to. We don't have to lie to ourselves either. We can't just be honest. <laughs> it was good, Charlotte. Morning. It's 8 a.m. and you just woke up for this. You're same, dude. Not spoiled. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm I'm surprised that you're even awake. Well, but you don't have work tomorrow. Oh wait, no. Then you can stay up. The fast game should start in like seven minutes, by the way. Hearing a Japanese announcer say Greasy Goblins makes you smile. Okay. <laughs> Your heart would be racing too much for this? Aw, oh, come on. It's just, you're just playing Splatoon 3, but at the highest level. It's all good. <laughs> nothing, nothing too fancy. <laughs> Nogami is there, yeah. I've seen some pictures of where Nogami has uh, appeared in a couple. You can't get, get out of that. Jordan said juiced up Greasy Goblins yesterday. Oh my god, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> The general strategy for Splat Zones. The it's wrong choice of words, but it's okay. We'll let it slide. Sure. So, um, Splat Zones, the big thing to know when did the game start? They started like six minutes. Oh, they might be starting. Kaiser! You want to play ahead of it? You want to, I would say, get set up in the right yeah, dude. Let the opponent come to you, and it's a matter of slowing down. Let's go, Europe! Kaiser takes the stage and obviously the Korean Just so you know, you're representing all of Europe. All of Europe. You're representing eight countries, which is actually wild. It's actually ridiculous. Why can't it just be a bunch of European countries get to go to the world champs? It's more of the world, man. Is this where they announce Splatoon 4? Imagine they do, which they definitely won't. Working up with the team, fighting, being One of you is really lame. He's a black dude in the Europe. That is Margin. He's like an insane rapid player. Ever like since Splatoon one. Mm -hmm. 
but it's all going to come down to that weapon starting things mm. for them. So Shino in the red. I love how everyone on Udon looks the same. Udon, we saw a That's incredible. Tentabrella. Do you foresee mm -hmm. that in the ranked modes? Oh, absolutely. If you were going to use it in Turf War of all places, it mm -hmm. might be one of the weaker modes for Tentabrella here. We have a central mm -hmm. objective in some of these modes. That wide mm -hmm. canopy of the Tentabrella can I mean, they got the, the face marks going, going along. Tower, they got the glasses. And keep that zone your color. Kaiser, one of the teams that surprised themselves yesterday by being able to pick up a game <laughs> in Turf War. They felt coming in Turf War. I know. I know what you mean, but it can come across. It can come across off like that. But relax. Relax, relax. I know what they mean because it's they got all, they got the face mark set up going on. They got the glasses. They got everything. You know. As, uh, as we say it in the traditional sporting world. Uh, Alright, I'm going to stand the volume up because the, 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 the games are starting, so. And you feel like you kind of game is well, we just a little louder. Pounds, and right good? now, Kaiser knows if they want to make this run, they have some absolute Maybe 25%? Face. Let's get it started now and get the ball rolling. And with that, it'll be Splat Zones and Blue Fen Depot as the players get their controls mm. and their The chat was so chaotic ball. yesterday. Okay. You played this mode it can only be more chaotic today, Depot. though, right? What are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind on this map? Well, this is one of the most unique Splat Why is... Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, why is the, like, names like this right now? But they're being changed as we speak, which is interesting. Over the course of Splatoon's I never knew that was even possible. in Splatoon 3. But what it means is that big central splat zone will travel to the left and right. That's side interesting. I've never seen that before. Why is it like that? It. But what that means is you have to be able to pivot your defenses in the mm -hmm. middle of the moment, and it means that some backline weapons can influence. Oh, they have to be. They're all forced all to play wide. Does that have any influence on how they're all like forced to, to play wide? The zone, then push forward. The fact that you've got this moving. It's so rough oh, because I mean, one of the playing wide in this game, there's just so much input delay. But I don't know how people are able to like maneuver that. Yeah, they did. We had to do that for the European champs too. It's like so so rough. You have to be a little bit more active and maybe trying to attack ahead if the nintendo the switch just worked like a proper console though and wide connection so worked properly then that would be it, it would not be a problem but you know. yeah why it has more input delay it makes no sense <laughs> yeah i know i know it's the strangest thing let me tell you guys about Splatoon. oh well, that's just the nintendo switch in general <laughs> it's not even the wait for me is the problem it's just literally just the input delay they could use it I don't know, Lodge. I have no map. idea. This is certainly one where if you've got it in the pocket, you use it. But Jordan, All we're right. not going to have to speculate any longer. The World Championship is finally here. So it's awesome, Splash Let's get it started. The very first That's game the same of the Splat Splatoon shot. 3 Stamper. World Championship 2024 is for all the marbles. Day 2. As we begin the quarterfinals, it is Kaiser versus Unidon. Nine, what do we see here with our initial loadouts? Well, a few very Tentabrella, Dapples, Julie's, and Junior. Blaster Pro Deco say that a few times That's such a funny call. But you got the, it's just sending Tentras in. Composition that is coming out here from I'm surprised they're even using Tetra. That are fine to dive when, on the oh, I guess they have the to, since there's no, ta a no tactical. Assistance. It creates a very interesting dynamic. It can get away from you in a hurry. And right now, it is control already, crazy though. pandemonium in the middle of the map. Oh, nice jump. Oh, nice jump. They build a 19 point. Lucky lead though. a splat there, three two advantage, three one. All it's right, a Kaiser. wipeout for Kaiser and an Kaiser. opportunity to take the lead. <laughs> a textbook there by Majin with, <laughs> yeah, with Daffles, dude. Deco, simply peppering all of those blasts or all of those duelies, rather. If you're a weapon, I'm guessing they're gonna use that for that retake. Can put a lot of that damage on it's gonna be so rough. They the kind of have to let the Tetra like Kaiser's lead continues. They kind of have to let the Tetra just like the zone, and now they are pushing out Unit on that initiate most of the time and all use the the. The Zuka to, the middle, then they to Inzuka this control. too, but yeah, but you're gonna see a lot of that. To, in, I guess the Inzuka to initiate as well. Down on the side. Now, one thing that's important to note here is that Zeris on that Splatana Stamper has been getting into a lot of. This is gonna be so rough, yeah. No, no. It gets a couple more. Oh my goodness gracious! Like EU just Zeris has the better goal. The best you'll ever see. <laughs> the second wipeout of the game for Kaiser, and now they're pushing forward. Like they just kind of. This is this is super comp diff. Because like. The timer is starting to go down for Kaiser. They're cutting into that penalty. Even if South Korea Udanon gets a hold, the game, they can't so really hold Kaiser for very long. Unless they get just to get like 
and the if, unless like EU feeds, basically. Zone back again here. You can see that Ishik doing a fantastic job holding down this left side of the zone, making sure that nothing gets Cause like, back and being well, very like the weapons that they have right now had to be very are just so much better for holding. But like because of all this South Korea gets the zone, but they, they can barely hold because like I don't even know. Like, I don't down. how are you gonna allow the tackles to hold? Or, I guess the junior can hold a little bit, but not so well. They've got three one on the map nine. They're determined. It's the third wipeout of the game in Kaiser. How about that? And they have cooler as well. So they can actually fight everything. Had to go through three I mean, that was kind of that's just Kaiser kind of expected. It's game number one. That's kind of just expected to happen. Great showing there from Kaiser. And listen, Kaiser felt comfortable mm -hmm. in the splat zones mode coming Bro, into it's this midnight. What do you mean? Like the platoon to be caught. So this platoon going this on, all right? First map, you feel happy with it there. But the way that they played around how Udon was trying to come and attack, mm -hmm. I noted earlier those two duelies. Biaro, it's midnight. Oh, really? Never let them get behind them. There is always sitting up on those raised areas with that stamper. Made sure there was no funny business. Got diffed. No yeah. No, it was just that was just what you call a comp different the differential, dude. There's nothing really the South Korea could have done. Felt like whenever they need to scramble, they got a hold though. I mean, they did cap the zone. Advanced, they were able to do so. But I feel like EU kind of just, I mean, Kaiser just kind of let that happen because they had better fight weapons just to fight well, everything. So that's just. Like, that was literally just how it was, dude. But when the opponent is bringing in two duelies and a splatter shot junior, I, I mean, they're going to have to run at you in pretty much one way. They're not going to be able to hit you from distance, do some damage from safety, or poke at your defenses. So There's nothing they get done. I mean, Kaiser I don't know. The advantages that they had and executing when the moment presented itself. So Kaiser gets I feel like if they want to use Dapple, they have to get rid of junior. And if they want to use junior, they also have to get rid of Dapple. Very comfortable. <laughs> it's like no, like it's it's like one of the two. Like you're either picking one of those two weapons. And like if you really want to bring a Tetra, and then you, I guess you can. And then you've got if you got Tent as well, you, you can as well. You can do that too. But I don't think the Junior and Apples work together well. Which is it is what it is. Unless like one, unless it was like. Yesterday, I like the other dapples about where you have a cooler on that sloshing machine which then you can just let the junior fight all the time which is weird <laughs> you might as well use a different weapon but <laughs> I guess you could what's good Nick well the, com the comp is giving solo cue it is what it is were able to get over the hump and get enough of those splats to give themselves the advantage you frequently saw three two four three on the map advantage Kaiser and that's when you dude can you turn the stream volume up I want to hear Jordan Kent's opinions on the matches well, unfortunately, you've come to the that SW2 dude co-car stream, where dude's voice is a little bit louder than Jordan's. <laughs> so he's gonna give dude is gonna give you his opinions of what's going on. My apologies. I'll turn it up a little bit. So plenty of answers for Unidon to go back to as well, and we've already talked at length about how Kaiser can switch on a moment's notice. So this will be interesting to see. Up next, Tower Control, Ship Shape Cargo mm -hmm. Company. Ooh. This, you said it right there, my friend. What are we going to see with Tower uh, Control? I mean, here? this is a this is a scary one. A snowball map. You're so pumped for this? Like You'll see where the game can get away I'm looking forward to what happens hurry. next. There are lots of positions that the opponent will like to set up their defenses on in Tower Control at those Can I just stream the championships with no commentary? But on this map what? in particular, Why? it is very <laughs> I, I think I, I, I actually have to give commentary. If I'm going to do a stream like this, I have to. Otherwise, my stream will just get taken down. So, like, that's kind of like a... That's kind of just like the the thing with this. So I, it, like, if you don't want to listen to me, you watch it on your own. If you want to listen to me and re watch me react, see what's going on, then you're going to have to bear with me talking. Machine, all right, a little comp change. Or can Unidon oh, they got machine as well. Machine. This is a comp that well, you see one works a little bit better, but they still don't have tactical. Here. On one side, you're going to see the sloshing machine Neo, and on the other side, you're going to see it much the same. The sloshing oh, machine Neo. The alerts. I'm going to turn alerts off, but thank you so much for the sub. Actually, I'm going to make I'm going to make alerts a little lower. Tentabrilla comes I appreciate out the retreat, thank you, thank you. still both teams fighting for space. You want to get that advantage before you All think right. about moving the tower initially, and 
So far, it's I a 4-1 advantage for Kai's, and they nearly wiped the field clean. Well, and look, Shino is all the way back behind them there. That was the play. They were hoping that everybody would go in and attack Shino, and they would work through. Kaiser says, well, okay, okay. we'll just attack everyone that's not behind the tent umbrella, Shino. Kind of umbrella Excellent shot. Excellent play adaptation. 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 Excellent play adaptation.
that Unadon was doing there. And they really only gave but that means next game is going to be a really, really interesting game. Because then we're going to have we're going to have EU vs NA, which is Kaiser vs Jackpot, which I think is a best of five, if I'm not mistaken. But, or maybe it's a best of three. I don't know. But that's the game. One real opportunity for Unadon there, and because of a nice timely Trizuka and one player hitting the Wait, tower is it not done already? the right angles there, they managed to set this is best some three, of the right? players from Unadon off, take them down one by one, and at that point, they were really in control the entire time. This is best of five. Issue. Why does it say best of three? Huh? Okay, never mind. We have another game. First two, three. Okay, no, no. Okay, no, no. I saw that three. Have that risky move the three often threw me off. off well. That got me yeah, confused, alright? I said earlier flanking is a skill because if you do it right at the right time, you put that in the back of an opponent's head. It's single elimination, yeah. Do this game. I know these players sometimes play like machines with impossible accuracy, but if you think that an opponent might be flanking, maybe you spend a little more time turfing behind you. Like how they refuse to go to the meta. Well, to be fair, you never know how much I'm pretty sure Splatoon is pretty new within Korea. With that nice timely push so like got they're I not really within in, really like, led to another player they don't know what we're well, doing and then it also they don't know what the i don't think they know what japan's doing i don't think they know everywhere else they like, think the community is a bit you know it's only just only ever just thought and like just getting off the ground so with time they'll get they'll like you know metas will develop and they'll see like which what is actually strong and if anything this will also show and as you take a look so much more like what is actually like what is like some really strong much more limited because of those checkpoints strong picks and like what can win a game and all that type of stuff so have to keep in mind here robo ramen you know that's an interesting question because robo ramen rainmaker isn't one of the more commonly played ones in competitive play so that's honestly why you might see tetra right now which we all use tetra but then realize tactical is just like better so where is kaiser from kaiser's from germany but how to defend rainmaker can very, very much favor a big mm -hmm. explosive attack one time. Hey, blue feature. We've seen it well, blue feature. Appreciate that. Can be very difficult to stabilize if you can is the Gal Deco in the meta? Yes. But yes, it is. Especially for clowns. Not on every map. You probably want to use it on like a flatter map. I almost think that that Unless like you're me, you can just use it on every map. But that's, much, a, that's, a, that's a completely different story. That's a completely different conversation, you know. But I think they're gonna be enough angles to attack them from that. That might. But it, and Gal Ninety Six definitely like thrives on like flatter maps. So. Well, you would really want to use it on clowns because it's all good. It's good fungi. Hey, Diana. Hoping good. Picks where they can get the advantage of squids and octolings. It's good game. Welcome everyone coming in. We're watching the Splatoon World like Champs. Okay. Right. This is the first game, so you haven't really over and over and over missed again. anything. I really think they need tactical or okay. I think that even if Unless you're me, Eagle Tiskal. What do you mean, Eagle Tiskal? I just have confidence with that weapon, all right? <sighs> I'm just confident. Very different. Very different, all right? <laughs> Ego Tiskal. KMT. Big KMT right here, dude. Again, I don't even think that they've been doing a poor job of fighting necessarily it's just they have to win two fights for every one that kaiser does come on you don rainmaker robo ramen can i mean i know i'm rooting for europe sweep, but come on you okay blue your bomb changes so different really as far as machine the loadout a slight change for kaiser though yep a very, very one nice oh they don't they don't have a zuka this time uh, kaiser going back to Zeris one zuka on for kaiser no Zeris zuka for you don any weapon at the highest level but I got entry of 10 okay stamper, it doesn't get a whole lot better right now a bit of a stalemate in the middle as both teams wrestle for control a little bit more of kaiser's ink Ooh, in that the jump. middle you see the super tactical jump, jump. Through, but here comes the tactical are coming out oh okay up, gonna pick off a couple of members of kaiser unadon with one oh, of those that movement. i love it they take the rainmaker and pick up another this, splash but yep but they're gonna kills need to anyway. get this out of the way quick here typhon trying to go it will be taken down by the killer whale 5.1 that was a golden opportunity to break that checkpoint. This is one of those maps where that first checkpoint can go very, very quickly. <laughs> he can't, so you he can't lock onto that. Able to get through here with their zip caster is Zara, so kind of an My dude trying to Maybe lock trying onto to the, somebody, the outsides of the map. Like, Zuka what is that? <laughs> we'll take two players out to move Zara's up, and now you should see Kaiser work up to that first checkpoint. 
keep it yellow. Can they run forward? It appears so, and Ish gets that dunk. Amazing, Fly dude. Fly zero right. with that Trizuka clearing out a little bit of real estate, and that gave Kaiser the opportunity to get into the cup for the first time. They get past the first checkpoint. They've got Tactic Cooler, and now they kind of have yeah, it on. Uh, in this little point here. Yeah, this is kind of what this I was game looks so earlier, dependent where, where Korea has to, to depend on their main weapons to get like a small pick. But Kaiser can like play back and actually like get picks or uh, depending more on their specials which is just usually which usually in this game just works so much better oh nice reset that's such a good reset unfortunately they don't have tactical so it's gonna be rough for them to buy everything they're gonna be a little bit more careful here nine they're not gonna just go grab that rainmaker until they've got some more specials built up here in a moment. A booyah bomb to try to open things up. They're doing yeah, well, we though, honestly. Right there, Majima was doing a great job of making sure nobody could get that Rainmaker for free, and it gave the rest of the team the time to come back. It was a rare time where Kaiser wasn't fully tacticalered up there, but they've now rallied the troops in Jordan, and they basically stabilized. And goodness, mm. nine, that combination of the Rapid Blaster plus the tactic cooler with that oh. Killer Whale is really just keeping Udon at bay. <laughs> it went all around the, the pedestal, dude. They the Rainmaker dude. again, and now it's 3-1 on the Mad right. Kaiser. And on a wipeout. I mean, no tricks at all will work against Kaiser. You saw right there. They the pushed up so far dude they've taken so much control most forms of damage, they push up so far this is like so many points for kaiser used to take out that Rainmaker. oh now they just kind of die what, what is happening they are. Jordan, they don't even what happened they three down. <laughs> they build the 41 point why did they all just die this is what get their defense set and now it's unadon they got they, 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 they pushed up they got the control but they didn't hold well behind that tent to Shino trying to provide a little bit of cover, trying to duck behind the Brella. Has that ink back ready to go. We'll see if they use it with that Trizuka coming out. Still being patient with the nine, and this is when you really want to mine. When you have you got to enter the, the vacuum, yeah, though. You can't pick that up. Oh, I like this. Oh, but the flank. Oh, the flank, the flank is stopped. Oh, that's unlucky. Got a couple shots off there, oh, but was not unlucky. able to close it out. That's a okay, though, because you have Zeriz on your side, who takes two players out the once has to, again. The two front runners to there alongside the Rainmaker. And once again, Jordan, once those two goes down... Once to be fair, though, in gone, this game, Korea's doing really well for what they have. And make sure there's no threat. And that's what you see, the mobility of Majin moving forward and backwards, poking away with that Rapid Blaster while the teammates try to pepper in. It's done enough to really keep Unadon uncomfortable Unlucky. about how they want to encroach. Well, it, there's just no actual answer for it. Every time that that happens, Majin puts a little bit of damage on somebody, and it just breaks it open, and they don't have a lot of range on their specials to try Tent's to doing a really good job way. of just it's, holding it's forward. Well, not it's holding forward, slider, but just holding control but you have to really up front. Risk yourself as opposed to the Trizuka, which is at no risk at all. Like, with the, the lack of paint they have, claims another victim, four, three and the lack the of tactical they have. A member of them. Under a minute left, they've got a 41-point oh, lead, but Unadon now this is good. turns the tide, 4-2. Here's their best opportunity, 9. If they don't get the checkpoint in this push, oh, I'm not this sure is they're good. going to the get it. They push people back, and that's a special out of the way. Did they turf it enough? Oh, they, they haven't got the first checkpoint yet. No, that pedestal was still yellow, which means that they're going to be stuck. They need to like win a fight up front. An opportunity was oh, there. Now they move got right. They I've never seen. I've never seen anyone go there. Remember, no <laughs> Guys, I didn't even know that pedestal even existed. <laughs> I've never seen that pedestal. I've never seen anyone go that, there with that pedestal, dude. Avenue. Don't let that tent umbrella <laughs> march forward and create some pavement. And I've never seen that ever. Completely breaking open the position oh, into a wipeout. Zeris dove right into the ink vac one other time. They don't need to push up far, though. They just hold down. They, win. they might not even opt to yes, pop this thing. It. Make it yellow, make it big, and let the opponent <laughs> I've run I've never seen anyone go to the right there on this map. First set goes to Kaiser in dominant 3-0 fashion. Grab the broom, a sweep for Kaiser, and really just their defensive capabilities, Nine. That's what really stands bad, out. Man. Yes, on offense, they got some pushes, but they didn't get a KO in either one of those two last games. They got the one push, but then what they're able to do on defense. How about Majin, that rapid blaster, just peppering things like bees at a picnic, just ruining everything. Yeah, man, no, that was kind of expected. He's been doing it for years. To be too. fair, it's though, been to be fair. Bugs. A, a competitor in the world career what they did should tell you they did a really good job at holding at this level even with really like the, the lack of tactical and the lack of paint that comp even well. had there are a lot like grizzled to be fair they did they could they they, they kind of cooked with that took a game off a jackpot yesterday i say give them a few years though and then they'll they because like honestly to hold to hold that well against kaiser kaiser's not an easy team to hold against 
push in and to do that well, I mean, to perform that well, they they honestly did a that really good job. So from Kaiser. We keep saying good job, Korea. Really honestly, extremely good team. And we do want to thank Unidon for Kaiser is definitely one of the more the, the favorites too. Korea. So to I say give Korea another year. Work on their comp, work on their comps, and then, uh, the you know, round figure out the meta get your popcorn ready for that. But before a little better, get to one of those main events, and then they'll, they, they definitely got it. The greasy goblins from Australia, New Zealand versus yeah, and honestly, Rose mechanics, very, Taiwan very Taiwan good, very, very good. Connor's honestly expected, but very, very good. Give them another year because they're still like their scene is still still very very young. That's that's not, that's only my guess. What is that? That's the only thing I'm saying. This is true. Here and you know they said that in jest. Of course they have high. Yeah, in, like in a game like this, I put it back down to ten percent. In a game like this, like ink control is so so important. It's like ink control because like ink control is gonna be the thing that's gonna be able to like. First of all, it's going to help you fight. Also, it's going to allow you not to take, like, stupid, like, random damage every second. And, like, when you have a comp that can do a lot of ink control and also, like, paint really well and also get kills really well and, like, like you know, basically fill out all those types of things, it just, like, it just makes it e easy. It makes it more helpful to play the game, you know? But you don't did a really good jump even with, like, Without like all like without all of those things, you know. Like they didn't have a lot of ink control weapons. They had like more weapons that would fight with main, like the main weapon. They didn't they didn't really have like weapons. Other than like this tower control game with like the the Zookas. it was like kind of like the only game where like they had specials to actually like fight from afar or let the specials to kind of do the work. But I mean, I don't know. They did their best. They did their best, really. You wish the bullet point was still in the middle? You know, honestly, they just need enough. To, I think Tactical is just way too strong. I just think Tactical needs to last a little, not as long. <laughs> if one of them squid bags, do they get disqualified? You know, what I'll do is I'll, tr I'll qualify for world champs, and then I'll squid bag when I get a kill. And I'll let you know from there. I'll let you know from there, all right? Or even earlier, all right? <laughs> we have to test the theories out. And if I get, if I, if I don't get disqualified, then we'll all know. <laughs> it's just a science test. <laughs> I'll take one for the team, all right? I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll do the dirty work for us, all right? <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to squid bag. Says who? <laughs> Look, yeah, I played this game a lot, and probably most than most of most than any of these people, most of all of you guys, maybe, except that one Timmy in the chat who's played for like four thousand hours, and I get squid bag almost every single day. All right, you're not gonna tell me I'm not gonna be able to squid bag the world champs as well, all right? <laughs> I should be allowed to squid bag. I should be able to get the the, the squid bond, the the squid the squid bag pass, you know. Greasy goblins. goblins. This guy though, who is this guy? Who? Wait, wait, wait. Can we go back? Can we see that picture again? Can we? I want to see that picture again. Mechanical players that you will see in the world. This is Taiwan. Chickens take the stage. Don't forget with the greasy goblins. We have one of the OGs of the world championships. As far as he's locked in for a photo, dude. That guy is not playing any games. Seven years ago in 2017, the very first World Inkling Invitational, Latias was there and had a chance to represent. Let's go, Australia. Since then, this is a situation she's very comfortable. Uh, very comfortable in Do you guys know any Australian phrases but for, the Australian New for me to chant? Because of time zone, it's not easy for them to get to compete in a lot of these events that they would love to do. So <laughs> crikey! Them, <laughs> I feel like if I said crikey to any Australian, they would just cringe, especially since I'm British, you know? Or you bloke. 
you know what? Bloke is actually... Can we just all agree that Bloke is like a top tier word? Oh no, nah. oh no, nah. yeah, yeah, actually that is pretty Australian. Yeah, no, that, this is actually like a real thing. Like the word bloke. Like describe someone as a bloke. <laughs> you can, like, there's like two things. You can't, like, it's the first thing, you just can't help but laugh. But also just also think, wow, <laughs> I just got called a bloke. Hello, bro, dude. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, that's Latias. She's been here like three times. She's pretty cool. I think she's been here since. She was in the very first World Champs, and then in the. I don't know if it was the next one, but she, there was another one. But then she's also in this one too. She's a really, really good charger. Jordan, you're taking notes on what I've been hey, giving you. Hey, you've been a Very great nice. professor, Nye. I'm just trying to do my best here. <laughs> you speak, mm -hmm. I listen, then I try to do my best to regurgitate it, my friend. Well, you're like the Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> that's literally... <laughs> the, shot, it says it right there. <laughs> Latias, Latios, one of the two. You just joined and the smart nice roast chickens are absolutely right crazy. Right I haven't seen them play. I didn't watch yesterday. So this is all just like a complete... Like, I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I didn't watch yesterday. Because I was just like, I mean, it was just preliminaries. It was just like the side seating. So I was just saying, like, eh, do I have to watch? Not really. So I didn't. <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, today's the best day anyway. So let's just watch today. Alright, let's see. I don't even know who's going to win. Austra like, honestly, Australia is like low-key really, really good. They, they, they're like really, 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 really good. No Tacticola. 52 Gal Stamper Elita. I love the Elia, but we have Nova as well. Alright. Are we going to see Inkjet Spam? I think that's what that's the that's what we're going to see. I'm interested to see how this works. They just have to really play really safe though. This is not a joke. Next I think the 52 gal is like the only thing that can really go up front and fight. That weapon. And right now the greasy goblins have done exactly that. The smart throws chickens did score first, but oftentimes in splat zones, it's not who gets the zone. Yo, first, Lemon, thank you so much for the tier one membership. I appreciate that. Determined maps and modes these teams have had weeks to prepare for it. And so the greasy goblins trying to raise. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, how about the shot by Remy? Oh, Leo, absolutely taking for a ride, and then trying to go for another one there is Leo. This is actually a really interesting dynamic, Jordan, because this is a backline battle where one has a distinct range advantage. This E Leader 4K is going to be able to out. What is that? Elia has ink mine. Riders. They're not so gonna give some opportunities to really push them back and make it difficult. For None of the attack. weapons are the really gonna like. Chickens with the real opportunity here. They're threatening to take the lead as the timer gets. Goes the Elia is not really gonna get any really like real use. Good job, Ink Mine. Unless they, they put it on zone, which I guess it was on. So. Chickens continue to hold down that zone. There's a lot of opportunity on the left there, but the greasy goblins just can't get in. No, and right now they're kind of scrambling to decide how they want to move in, how they want to attack. They're trying to build their specials and Ooh, use them in that nice fashion. They've done just that. Great work there by Ardino, taking a couple out. And I think this game's going to be close. Zone, not wasting any time trying to okay, take like, out these other I'm going to look at it logically landing. here. For YDD, and it is get on back to spawn. The, um, the what's it called? Taiwan's comp isn't as bad as you might think. Like, they do have a Nova, but Nova, no, Anarchy Nova is literally like Inkjet spam, and Inkjet's not bad. That's literally all it's going for. It's just, it's just gonna be the, the, it's not even like, don't, if you just have to like ignore that it is a Nova. Like, you're not supposed to fight with that weapon, you're just gonna paint and literally just get spamming jet. Honestly, this comp kind of. <laughs> if we're going back to Wallpoint meta, I, I, I think this comp is actually pretty good, you know? Way out of position. Yeah, greasy goblins take that back. The only thing is just they don't have a tactical, and that's just rough. If they had tactical, oh my god, this comp is insane. 
They drop down an ink wall and, and probably could work on this map pretty well. Greasy Goblin, six seconds but away. They just have to hold it a little bit longer. Three. Right, Greasy Goblin have the good hold. Greasy Goblin's able yeah, that game to just kind of and they come back from behind. Kind of just like scooted by, you know. Smart roast chickens. Great stuff there. In two moments that I want to highlight. Comp is fine by the wrong time period. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like if Tap the Cooler wasn't as strong right now and and Inkjet was still a little stronger too. Then I think I think it's solid too. Even then, it was it was actually doing really well. They were playing it really well. They just have to literally not die, and the Elia gets a lot of picks. Or if the Elia gets like some really good picks too. Smart roast chickens. Is it a, is it such a good name? As you pointed out, no. the ability to get them out of position no longer was that it does make me want to get some roast chicken too. So. And it's what the crab tank's been doing since it came out. It's a cooler really is yeah, no, it, in com comp Splatoon right now, cooler is like you need cooler. And of course you've got an awful <laughs> like you need it cuz it just gives you so much like um it just in general just gives you so much like leverage just to do stupid stuff. If you know what I mean? Like, it allows you to, like, play a little bit more risky because if you die, you come back. It's basically like how Splatoon 1 was where everyone had QR. And if you die, it didn't really matter. You can just come back. But everyone had it, so it didn't really matter. So basically the game was always at the same pace. But, like, if, like, a team... If one team has cooler and another team doesn't, then one team is always... The, the one team that has cooler is always at a faster pace than the team that doesn't have cooler. And it's always just rough, you know. Shocked about the unique comps in this event. However, they are not def definitely dominant, so it's interesting to see. Yeah, I mean... I think that... I mean... It's like like we saw with Korea, same with Taiwan. It's like a newer developing scene. It's it's not like they've had Splatoon for like nine years, like Australia, Japan, basically everywhere else. So it's like Splatoon three is. Well, I don't know if they were there around in Splatoon two. Definitely not. But especially with Splatoon three, like they're definitely just getting their their feet in their feet in the pool. You know. You know what I mean. But even then, even despite that, how they're playing, they're definitely playing really, really well. They're not playing. It's not like they're like playing and they're completely just getting absolutely destroyed. You know. Because I think if that was the case, that would suck. <laughs> that would be so rough. But these these guys are playing like they're playing to the like you know they're playing really well despite that. They're holding their own. You don't lost because was, yeah they lost because of the content they used, but they were actually still be able to hold too pretty well. So I'm still saying like you give some of these teams like a year. And I'm I'm telling you, they probably all be different teams. You know, the, the, the play styles would definitely be developed. You're just going to say 20 years? 20 years is a little bit much. All these, all these teams just need a year. Like, 100%. They just need a year. Give it a year. There you go. Sorted. Same comp from Greasy. Octoshot. Oh, Octoshot because it's Tower. Oh, and Roller. Okay, Roller is secretly pretty good in this game. Or secretly really good in um in Tower Control. I'm actually not really good in Tower Control. They got a comp to support it too, but they just have no tactical or again Instead, so they are trying the tried and true fashion of taking the opponents out so many times Unlucky. that it doesn't matter I'm not gonna lie I think that was an input not. delay issue is, well, the greasy goblins <laughs> I feel like that guy really wanted to aim on the guy but I could see the, the I could see the the cross side going like 
look how much they're pushing the smart roast chickens back even while they have that first check well and that's what you can do with some of these range specials when you follow right. a crab tank up with squeeze has got so much control here and now Ardino holding that side as well oh, they got brush as well that's so on. annoying and even though a couple players did get taken out by some great shooting there from leo's e-leader they're still Ooh. gonna have to work very hard to get back i saw it in another i saw it in another universe dude Greasy goblins are able to get past that first checkpoint. They were threatening the second one for a moment, but now Good the wave. I clear some space. Although no one is there, but I did clear space. Actually, I got this right, just right away. Never mind. They do have a special ready to roll, plus it's 4-3 on the map. Yeah, and Lin went straight forward into the teeth of the enemy and was able to take out Ardino. Yeah, bubble to hold control, that's good. Which means that they have done Gives them some time. Oh, and they... Oh, let's go Taiwan. You guys are cooking. The big bubbler does go away faster if it's on the tower, but if it's right in front of the tower, Jordan, it's going to last the full time and a checkpoint down. Ooh, a little gamemanship right there, and now it's going to... I like this. They got structure, dude. Seconds away from taking the lead as they push the tower, and yes, they take the lead, approaching the second. No, this is actually this. That's actually really good from Taiwan. They actually had like like good structure though. Like that was that's that's, that's something that's planned. Like they had the roller first to get like to put the bubble down just to to stall the team, just so they can get the checkpoint forward, and then they had the fifty two push up left at that point and then have the they basically swap their own and have the roller go around and had Elia at the back as well to for, for, for just be able to for, you know usual back line things so that was a structured push dude actually cool actually coordinated they're gonna go ahead and just hop on it to try and get it to move a little bit quicker and Here's where they've got to coordinate something, Nine, because you know you've just erased the majority of the special here for the There's like three. They, Australia knows that there's like three people down there. Well, you do exactly that. They already took out oh, two players there. Oh, but Taiwan's cooking, side, though. Dino had pushed up to this side, which is what the squeezer needs to do. Use the range of this weapon to take care of these great nice shots. areas. Takes out another one there and is going to plant right Unlucky. there until given a reason not to. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. Pencil's good everywhere. <laughs> and maybe not flounder heights. But pencil notoriously is good everywhere. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Things have gotten to a little bit of a stalemate at this moment. You see the triple ink strike coming down. That'll scatter. If you're good at pencil, you should definitely be using it. Especially since it's backline and tactical, and you know, it does a lot. Nice. No, roller is cooking, dude. That's how I roll, baby. A huge splat for the smart roast chickens. But it's still Roller's like really, really good, mainly because it's just it's, it's one shot at close range. If you can set it up, it's it does so much work. It does work, and they do have a comp to to like they do have the comp to look, to allow it to play like and do stuff. Oh. All right, where's the 52? The 52 has to do something here. And this is where things can get out of hand. Are the smart roast chickens going to die? They might have time, actually. No? To try to preserve their lead. Oh, just unlucky. A they missed they the shots. An to, so the roller they will clears here. The lead right there. And Jordan, it changes so fast. This is the type of game I'm used to seeing on this map mode. YDD had an opportunity at two targets. That's unlucky, dude. Them, was hesitant to pull the trigger. Oh. That allowed Greasy Goblins to take the lead. Under a minute left. Now unlucky. it's up to the smart roast chickens. Can they peck back? No, Greasy Goblins continuing to push forward. And now things can get scary because with 45 seconds on the map... Australia probably doesn't have to push super hard here. Probably not anymore. What time is it for me? It's like 7. Almost 7. Up there on that right side trying to get to some support from the rest of the team but yeah someone's gonna get a big pick in a hurry. Taiwan's in control Greasy again trying to build a Ta lead. strikes are in on the tower. someone has to get a really big pick I like the bubble here comes the big bubbler it's gonna vanish here soon was it maybe too early nine because they still have a lot of ground to cover now, well, they I don't think it was too early they had they kind of had to defend the tower but the, while doing that they've actually pushed oh, Australia oh, really oh, back that's a good whale they have to hop off the oh, tower though momentarily Zuka. Tries They're doing such a good job of dodging the all these specials, though. Support. Oh, nice try. Yes, they do the greasy really nice try from all Taiwan, the smart roast chickens, just a few precious moments away. Again, without Tacticola, dude. But no, those goblins. They did really the well without Tacticola. Yeah, whenever you sit back. So like can you imagine if they they had a Tacticola on their the team? Tower. Listen, it's the right play. <laughs> It's not over yet. There's still one more game. Well, not one more game. There's still 
you know, Australia has to win one more to continue. But that was a very good showing on, ta on Taiwan's side, not gonna lie, dude. With that special, but what it means, the greasy goblins, one game away from advancing to the semifinals where they would take Cooler is not getting enough. I think we need to nerf Cooler. <laughs> it lost too long. I feel like if you're gonna get Cooler, like, I feel like Cooler should work in a way where, like, if you get the drink, you have to, you have to act on it now, and you can't just, like, wait and then act, act, act on it, you know? You're coming out of their spot. That meant that when they had control of that side, they could sneak some of their... It's good blazing. Good early, good early morning. And it was good cinnamon as well. Good early morning to you as well. You haven't slept yet, but you meant to catch this. Yo, that was good. Yeah, using Amiibo? I guess. To save the gear. How long is that to the best of fives? Currently. The entirety was soon to follow. And that just goes to show you the mechanics and why it's so important. If you can get your hands on one of those weapons like Dude, you should be playing this. I feel you should destroy you would destroy everyone. Well it's not like turf war that I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to. But at the same time, this is a team game, so there are always critical moments in every ranked mode match that if you can win that moment right there, you're gonna most likely take the game. And it might be subtle in the situation where it isn't moving the tower forward, it's creating the space. I got four limbs. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Control four controllers? Right hand, right foot, left foot, left hand. Clone myself. I did not win the <laughs> champs a while ago, but choose not to go for personal reasons. You're funny. <laughs> Hey, Mount Andrew. What's good, man? Nice to see you. Okay, but imagine a team just for me. That will be funny. That will be a big meme, too. Imagine me dapping myself up. <laughs> just like, hey, dude. Oh, dap me up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give them a little room for error <laughs> yes. here. A little margin yes. All just pogging on stage, dude. <laughs> job at winning some of these fights, creating these openings. I said earlier they're mechanically skilled, but I hope that seeing what they've done against a tactical or team has made that case more <laughs> clear. They clearly have everything they need from that perspective. Mm. My closest chance to get into Worlds was back in 2016. And they're gonna have closest to chance. Because I got second in European champs that time. Game three, Greasy Goblins looking for the sweet Still very annoyed about that, because I definitely feel like we could have done so much better. I'm never going to forget. Here we, go. we were Ryan definitely supposed to win those Baker games. Robo we Ramen. didn't. Who will advance and who will keep this thing alive? A look. Either way. Finally out the um, Range Blaster. Alright. <gasps> they got Tactical now. Oh. Also okay, what are they fighting with? They're so fighting with Range Blaster and Stamper then. And, and they have Elia in the back. Okay. You see right now, trying to fire beyond that glass, which is a spot you know the opponent is going to try to defend from. We also saw a change in the loadout. Australia has so much pain. Well as down goes a of the smart Australia has ridiculous amount of pain. Yep. The Tentatex splatter shot has come out here from next. There will be no brush. I like that Tentatex being played too. Because when you can fire forward with grace, like Nex has right here with this Tentatex splatter shot. Listen, if it has splatter shot in the name, it's going to be a okay from a main weapon standpoint. That's you're so right, man. Ladios snipe somebody. With that rainmaker, yeah, adapting to the first checkpoint, and now the greasy goblins are in position. Triple ink strike trying to create a little bit of room for them. It's quickly erased with purple ink by the smart roast chickens. They're in position and they're coolered up for the first time. Yep, very nicely done there to hold that spot. That first checkpoint can fall quickly on this map. You just really need to not let it get down into the 20s, into the teens. That's where it can be. Oh my god, board. there's hold no on, way. Oh, no oh way, dude. Goodness, that was insane. Have a real they need he wasn't even he wasn't even using his weapon. He was just using the zip caster. But that was really good, dude. The answer they got checkpoint yes. as well. And of course they moved to just one point behind the second Nice play, the dude. Checkpoint, but right here they could burst the rainmaker shield. He's, he's already got zip caster again cuz tactical see. 
The effects of Tactic Cooler are so just too good. Seen a little bit more aggression coming out from the Smart Roast Chickens, but excellent job of the Greasy Goblins to stabilize their defense. Yeah, great job there. Both of these teams knowing that they can give up that Good morning, fellow UK watchers. What's good, Nebula? There. Don't let the opponent get too far from that for free. Don't overextend. Jared went down there. I don't know if it was to the Trizuka or something else. That could have been a moment, but the other members have done a decent job of stabilizing. There's all sorts of pandemonium in the middle of the map now at this point. And we've got a one-point difference in this game rainmaker claimed by the greasy goblins 3-3 on the map and now it's latias just backing up waiting for a little bit more support as they get organized oh nice shot. Oh, oh remy goes down that range blast range blasted oh that gets another oh one, two, three. get the quad Splats and nearly a He's, wipe out. oh come on come on right give, it give it to him give it to him give him the ace come on oh maybe got a little too over yeah he, he over he, 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 he over here he over here his own Actually, he, he was he was hungry for that quad though. Hold on, this is he was just like, man, if I got this quad, there, got Twitter's gonna like love this. <laughs> Twitter's gonna love this. Look, he fast he went he went for the quad. This all good. Out smart roast chickens, bookmark that moment and. Right now, that puts Leo in a very difficult situation. He's trying to back up a little Good bit. Good trade. Right there, three, they three. might just have to, like, he feed for lead here. It feels like nine. Just do what oh, you can to take the lead. You need to die. Well, at this point, that Rainmaker's only got a few. Oh, yeah, it's only like eight seven seconds, seven seconds left. left. That's oh. going to explode. They will take the lead and fine with it. Taiwan's in the lead now. You can see just how quickly those points start to fly off the board. Why did he okay, come behind him there with the Range Blaster to open that up for them there? With 90 seconds left, 56 is still not a big push on this map. But for the Smart Roast Chickens, one. Once again, Jordan, they find a way to take a lead. And now they can play defensively. So much control here. Seconds. It's not much of a lead, as you said, but that changes things. Like, Australia's got the pain, but, on their territory. Out comes the but Taiwan is bringing the fight, you know. Rainmaker still in the middle. Now they're going to just skirmish over. Oh, and down goes no. Two members of the Greasy Goblins. That's huge for the Smart Roast Chickens. I mean, YDD was the player I highlighted here. Oh, what a so slash, dude. With this range blaster. And Jared here on the stamper. The assault style weapons on this team. The fighting weapons doing exactly what they need to over and over again. Just one minute left. Are they going to grab this Rainmaker? Or are they simply going to sit back here? I'm not even sure they know the answer hmm. to that. More triple link strikes coming down. All four members on the map for both teams, but two specials ready to go for the smart Dude. chickens. They're cooking, Randy dude. Gets splatted again, and now it's three-two. This is huge for the smart roast chickens. They can try. Oh to close my this God! Out. Oh, what a play! Fight right here, Artino versus Jared. There, oh, it was a little down. bit scuffed, but I like the idea so much. Great work, and gets another one there too. His next overextended a little bit. It's like he like. Gets hit once again it's like the stamper baited him to go left, and he the stamper already knew he was gonna do that, and he he played for it. That was such a good play, dude. two down there. That path ahead is awfully yellow. Where are the other members? Oh, this is game, dude. This is game. Wave breaker getting the splat on the crab. How about that? Six seconds dude, left. look at Smart the difference, man. Look at the difference on, of what tactical it does four. for your it team, dude. Grabs at this point, and that'll do it. The Smart Roast Chicken. I said it, didn't I? Guys, you, you witnessed me say it. You witnessed me say it. Like, put a tacticaler in this team, and they're going to cook. And they cooked in that one. Hello? Just whoever's on Zap needs to stay on Zap. They could just use that comp like every single time. Pretty strong to me, and that map favored what I think might be their best comp as a whole, which is moving Jared over to the Stamper and YDD. Some teams cook, but they roast. They def they definitely are roasting. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> they might be having a roast dinner today. Who knows? It is Sunday after all. <laughs> it is Sunday. <laughs> What do you know about that Sunday roast? With a burst bomb, so that's already 60 damage done. And why did he just turn 90 degrees, one shot, immediate, you're done. Now I'm going after your teammates here. They're not cooking. It's already cooked, honestly. As far as your weapons in that last game, and now this is an opportunity. You're the smart roast chickens. If it ain't broke. No, keep the tacticola. Do not switch off tacticola. Because then, then you guys can actually fight. I think Australia... I like the idea of Tenetek, to be honest. I actually really, really like Tenetek. But against again, I guess against that comp, another Zuka would have been easier to fight the Stamper and Eliter and um, Range Boss, Range Blaster especially too. It would have been so much easier. It would have been so much easier to fight those. Because I think Range Blaster is a little bit better. Like 
in like actually dodging the uh the strikes but didn't last match into yeah it did but that makes sense though but and I'm, I'm just saying against that specific comp it would have been so much better if they had Zuko instead of the, the strike but it's not like they would have known anyway so it's it is what it is you, know. you can't really prepare for that because it's just like they weren't using tactical all that time they weren't using that comp all that time and then suddenly now they're using this comp it's just like what okay how do I prepare for that as you build up a Kraken, you swim towards the opponent's goal. They can't do anything. But it is what it is. No, that's a really good uh, comeback for Taiwan, though. Is this Grand Finals? This, no, this is it's still quarterfinals. So we got, we got quite a bit to go. And this is interesting. We've talked about there is one of Kraken cheese. Oh, someone's going to pull out a 96. I think they drop squeezer put put 96 in. At least for Clam Blitz. I mean, you can have both, actually, but, I don't know. I wonder what's going to happen here. If you're going to have Tactical Taiwan here, you're definitely going to need... Like, if you're going to have it in the last match, you're definitely going to need it here, because it's, it's especially important for Clam Blitz. Why I say that, because you're going to get into, you're gonna get yourself into a push, you're going to be getting the Clams in, you're gonna want to have the tactic cooler because you want to get the clams in, and then when you die, then at least like when you die, you can actually defend uh, after getting clams in. So let's see what they run here. I wonder. Silly Mario, what's good? All right. They got the ink brush comp. No 96. But smart roast chickens are using the same comp, okay? Exactly what we wanted to see from the smart roast chickens. Okay. Hey, bring that comp back out again. I don't care if it fits the map or the mode. You play that well with a comp. You stick with it as long as you can. Yes, all right. Brush gonna be back out from next. Another weapon that's really good at getting around in clam blitz. So right now, both teams are trying to fight for middle. Gather up those clams. Want to be a little bit more mindful. This range, it's the range blasters that's doing so much work, dude. This weapon's so good. Bobbing and weaving that range blast, as we said before, nearly go. It's just so good against like a long, like it's so good against shorter range weapons, but also good. It's good against everything, really. What am I saying? No, the range blast is just really good against everything. <laughs> it's just that you don't have a lot of pain. It's kind of like it fits in, it's kind of like roller, but maybe a little bit better because like it fights better almost every time and the the wave breaker gives it space which is quite nice too double wave breaker and the zip caster ready to go at this moment and just being very mindful are the smart roast chickens however they're down oh yeah no i just yeah they do have double wave breaker don't they you more so wait for the smart roast chickens to make the first move here well i think you interesting right they're gonna have to come to you eventually and as you noted jordan they have a double wave breaker on their specials once again there's not a long range special that they have there and when the opponent that has the zip casters who's carrying the power clamp there's almost no threat for you if you hold back gets the splat on jared ink brush moves forward to create a path it's such a it's a weird scenario here because i feel like to be, for australia to beat that they kind of have to play slower but it's also a thing where like it's kind of annoying to play slower because the uh, Taiwan's comp is also going to play very slow. Finally in the hands of the greasy goblins with some crab support. Yep, some crab support. They've got one player pushed back here. It's just There's white. The window. You have to really work is. with their specials YDD to really get picks. A little bit too late, and they use those long range specials, Jordan, to open oh, up. Oh, that's really good. That's a really good push from Australia. Away. Now the door is open here. Every yeah. one of these clams that they put in will be worth three points. Any of their power clams worth twenty. And they're trying to just shuffle things right now and keep that timer fresh. They've gotten to forty-one already. How about that? Down to thirty-five and. Now they're just trying to scramble for anything they can find as some of those clams are taking their time to respawn. It feels like the smart roast chicken is all bad, man. members drop down. Oh, to they got level. Australia that push, got two more picks. Nine, they're going to pinch in and close into well, that. Yeah. It's not over yet. That's essentially a wipeout that fell there. I think one person ended up Ooh. falling on a bomb there and two went down as a result of that. That's the ink brush is going to be so annoying. Actually, no, the ink brush is probably so annoying for both the range blaster and the stampo. Greasy goblin just a matter of trying to get their timer almost nearly out. And that'll just cut down to that penalty a little bit now, still at plus 22. But you see the huge lead with just over two minutes left, and that's going to force the hand of the Smart Roast Chickens. Oh, shots from Let Let's As they go down. 
Yep, this is, again, a very uphill battle they'll have to fight with here. This is another map where, because it's so wide, it can be difficult to retreat out to the center of the map and grab more clams once you open up your opponent's spawn. I bring that up because this I don't know if that's up. Wait, did I just see the squeezer just slip off the map? Hello? Oh, here comes He knows it, dude. He knows it. The map was just like, oh. Back on their heels, that killer whale. They are cleaning up right now. Next might have just gotten a quad right there. I we saw that. I'm, I'm just, like just letting you know. Here, I so saw that. Got to see an ink quad here <laughs> at the World Championship. Next, still not done, is sharking around at the bottom. I know how that feels, dude. In that yellow ink, as Latias provides a little bit of a path forward, but it is all greasy goblins thus far. Their plan working to execution, and Next is going Unlucky. back in for more. Greasy yeah. goblins picking all the meat off the bone. A double splat here from the crab, and now there's their so power many clam power going. clams on this side. Dude. For the knockout, just a few more. They're yeah, gonna they find their way. Just over. one clam away from the semifinals. Can there the greasy is. goblins do it? They do, and they make history for Australia, New Zealand, and advance to the semifinals. 3-1 over the smart Good Rose game, though. Oh, when you can see Unlucky for Taiwan. They got a game, though. That's actually. I mean, Jordan, the game so before was really well played by Taiwan. Start. You and but I like, our head, our, our hands our, they went with the same comp. I guess it's just the comp bit. doesn't okay. work. Two Double wave breaker game. maybe doesn't work so for well. Score. One opening comes through on that map maybe. Dives forward Not sure. Time cycles through the members. We'll, we'll let forensics uh, Once they got pushed back, it's what have a look at that one, but you know. I guess that I guess that's that might be it. But they did really, really well. Again, give them a year. I think these guys are are gonna be like gonna be crazy, dude. Give them another year. Let let those scenes develop because their mechanics are definitely there, and uh, how they want to fight is a hundred percent there. But like. Yeah, no, no, just give him a, give him a, another year just to develop the strategy and, like, the, the understanding of the game. And then, honestly, nah, they, they will cook. Really, really good game, though. Is it going to be, I think it's Kaiser versus Jackpot now, right? This would be a nicely contested game between these two. But there are just these small moments there. Stamper had some crazy. Yeah, no, that Stamper was so sick, dude. That Stamper was so sick. Smart Rose Chickens tries to force an issue at a certain point, and the Greasy Goblins just had the answer. And it felt like Smart Rose Chickens needed to pivot just two games earlier to that comp that they had, because they looked like a completely different team at that point when they finally had a Tactic Cooler and went with the Range Blaster. But it was dude, I love their Roller Comp, but just give it a Tactic Cooler. Really just their roller comp was great, but they just need a tactic cooler. It's a little awkward because it's just like, do you get rid of? I think that Ely just needs to switch to sniper. Right <laughs> Honestly, no. With the the tower control comp, they swap the Ely with a tactic with a with a, um, a sniper. Right then it just works. That comp works like really, really well. A real reason to have to move because if they stay still, they're simply going to be taken out. Meanwhile, the how is that, that the semis ended? Cover, no, we're, we're getting, getting into the semis right now. It's jackpot and Kaiser and semis, so and then it's uh, greasy goblins versus uh, phantom thieves and semis now as well. So, there are a total of three games left, if I'm not mistaken. Those two teams. So the semifinals are set as we ink a little bit closer to a world champion here for the Splatoon 3 World Championship 2024. And what's fascinating to me is yeah, if they're gonna use like to be a little bit more flexible, if they're gonna play Clam Blitz and they really want to use Elia, they could use Custom Elia. Probably would work better because then you have beacons as well. So like, once you fight up front, you have tactical, you have tactical over Zap. And then you can put beacons down everywhere, and then like at least every single jump now, it's is actually safe, which is just like which would have been pretty cool. And they have Kraken for Kraken jump. That would have been a good comp. But if not, then yeah, just use sniper and the game's different. But then they'll have to switch that out as well. Australia played really well though, really well. I'm just surprised about how well uh, Udon and Smart Rose Chicken were played though. Because for undeveloped scenes, they did really well, you know. 
they still did very very well to get things started tower control ink blot art academy a classic clam blitz at umami ruins and then game mm -hmm. four, if necessary, Splat Zone, Museum Del Fonsino. Jackpot is the USA, yeah. Humpback, pump track. And so Splat Zone. Right, this is a game that, this is a match. So we have Rainmaker, Barnacle, and Diamond. It's not the West. Tawa, Inkblot, yeah, okay. Clams, you know, I mean, it's actually not bad maps, actually. That tough for Humpback pump track is crazy, though, for game five. If we do go to a game five. Probably tell you that, which means that if Why is tough or in game five actually? Why is tough or game five? That's actually insane. To get that third game, they have to be loving how this is looking here. And for Jackpot side, I think this is your opportunity here. That makes no sense. That game mode is so coin flip. And there were three modes back three. And you're gonna decide game five for tell four? That's insane. Then all of a sudden trailing in that third game, you start making maybe Swapfesting game five. Sound and Yo, bunnies versus little chickens in game five. Who wins, dude? I need to make a play, I have to make a play that might try to overextend themselves sometimes. Yeah, you these are very experienced players again, all of them having to get I've said it before and I'll say it again. Tough four is not a competitive mode. And you should not have the players play on a game five on a non-competitive mode because the game mode is ridiculously coin flip that's just not fair man i hope i honestly hope we don't go to game five actually no i hope we do because twitter will go crazy and the players will also go crazy and be like oh my god i can't believe we lost the game five and it was decided by a tough wall. You know, I think we need to go to a game five. Please go to a game five. <laughs> we need to go to a game five, guys. If you want to play competitive tough wall, play Splat Zones. That's why Splat Zones is there. That's why it's there. It's literally competitive tough wall right there. Because it makes sense. You control a part of the map. And if the other team gets control of that, that part of the map, then there's an overtime if the time runs out. Tough or that doesn't happen. Tough or you can get completely destroyed for the entire game, and then after after the game, like, like after like a minute of the game, or no, two minutes of the game to pass, the other team can like get one set of kills and then they win. And it's just like, are you really the better team? No, you're not. You were getting wrecked. <laughs> what is going on? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's go Europe. Come on, you're, 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 let's go margin. Yeah, flex, flex the arms. Although, I don't know how much that's going to help. You're going to be using your wrists. But let's go anyway. This is as close as you get here. North America versus Europe, Jackpot versus Kaiser. You go back to 2018. When all right, America Europe, you're only representing all of us. That means England, Europe, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Finland, Poland, Portugal, the Netherlands. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting You're only representing all of us, right? So no pressure. Belgium as well. Can't forget about Belgium. Ireland? What do you mean? What do you mean, Ireland? What's Ireland? You guys, how cool would it be? If all those countries that I mentioned were also at World Champs as well, wouldn't that be an actual World Champs? I don't know. I think it would be. I think it would be. But as you can see, Switzerland as well. And Austria. Sorry, forgetting countries if the attacker gets there even a couple seconds before the defender that would be an actual world champs not this all right only one team from europe gets to go to the the world champs and represent the entirety of europe i'm sorry but i don't speak german and if i do 
all I can say is fictitious. Hello, fictitious. That's all I can say. That's as far as my jumping goes, dude. <laughs> Everybody was switching off the Chargers. She refused to. So going back over to Snipe Rider has not been a challenge for her whatsoever. I will say it did take Jackpot a little bit of time to figure out how that worked instead of having Jared be their provider. But it's given Jared the chance to move back over to some mm -hmm. other... Support. Honestly, you don't need more. You think I can go around in Germany just with those that phrase, dude? And just insulting people. <laughs> Responsibilities for everybody. Mm -hmm. They're very comfortable choosing a different. You got your Scandinavians mixed up. Oh, this is so sad. Yeah, it's only like. Several weapons to choose from. Um, oh, yeah. When I was chatting with Lee Sweden, this she told me she said, and about six Denmark, and, here today, and you might see all of them. So Norway. Have to feel confident in that, and you know it's, it's Why am I not there? Because I got fourth in the European Kaiser champs. Well. Kaiser very confident. They're trying to score what many people would say is. An upset, if that's fair to say, if they can take off I would the agree. I would say. Best of five, you've got three games. All right, the game is going. So, Victor, so I'm expecting to see Rapid Rain again. Maker. I'm expecting to see Stamper. And Barnacle Zach and, and Shot who's going to be the first from team to pick Kaiser. up a victory and march that much closer to the finals. Oh, Rapid Here we go. from... Is the world champions. This is a miracle? North America versus 96. Europe. Let's get it on. Love to see oh the 96. Take a look at these comps, Jordan. This is bizarre all over the place. So Jerry Okay, I wasn't expecting to see Rapid to from Jackpot. That's different. Right, she's playing the same Rapid Blaster Pro. Oh, Deco let's go, Margin. Best Margin's Rapid ever. Out, and we have the 96 Cal Deco coming oh. out here on the side of Kaiser. That's a lot of syllables that I just said. Oh, they are kind of overcooked. Royale, Where's your specials? Hey, listen, Sheldon's got Go a on, lot ja of options. Oh. Might as well explore some of them. So early on, not much happening on the map. Jackpot with the... Yeah, that was rough. Momentarily. But right now, I don't think EU yeah, should have fought, fought there. They, they didn't have any specials. They kind of just fought and like died. Goes Jared, just right. like that. Yeah, but they are still in a great okay. position to continue pushing this forward. You see them get the immediate mm -hmm. pop, and they had their specials, and will take out Ishik as a result. This is where this Kraken Royale comes in, though. Because oh, wait, no, they fought because they got a pick. That's probably why. No, that doesn't make sense, actually. Never mind. Late, you might get punished yourself. This has been a scrambly sort of position. And just for 25 points off the board, that was a okay. lot of work there for Jackpot. Now, Kaiser that zip to needs to get a pick to get some value. Oh, good pick. Advantage on the map. Great job oh. there by Zarin. And he lives. One member out there who was just coming out of spawn, which means they will not have any sort of special to Go be on, used at that point. This is a real opportunity for you guys. Got now. this. If they get Zaris back in here on the attack, as you can see, he is spamming, trying to jump back in as quickly as he can. There's a real opportunity <laughs> for them to get this first checkpoint, Jordan. Zara's trying to move. You guys so got this. Some shots from that rainmaker to provide a little bit of support. And now nice. Majin, again, a double spot, no. and that's going to open up the door for But Kaiser. that's so good. They got control off, still. They got so much control. By a great Trizuka shot there. They're going to grab it once again, so they should have an opportunity oh. to try to take it. But again, they got a lead, but not the checkpoint. Okay, never mind. Reset that Raymaker. Not bad, not bad. Even with that great position, Kaiser not able to get that checkpoint. And Leafy coming in, getting a critical splat, and so it is just a three-point lead for Kaiser, but neither team has gotten to the checkpoint, and... Now you've got some hopes of it in the jackpot. You are pushing Kaiser oh, back what? further and further. Rainmaker on the dude, doorstep. That's so anime of him, dude. He slashed him out of the zip caster. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and look at that. They did not get through that Oh, what a wipe. With a wipe All right, you push up. Go on, Majin. You push up. All the way up. Ishik grabs it here, which means they won't be able to pull out another tactical or here. But with that timing, they're going to take Good this checkpoint. And they will you got so much control now. Majin's like in perfect position, careful. too. That was a huge wipe out. Oh, not again. Kill, though. But Majin's holding it down, though. Oh, good push up. If you get one more, that's huge. That's so big. That's so big for Majin. Because now they can hold mid here. Well, and again, the dynamic of this game is completely changed now because Jackpot did not get through the checkpoint on their push. That means that even if they get there, the tiebreaker will still go to Kaiser because they got there first. That's my boy, dude. 
Leafy, and now it is 4-2 on the map. 4-3, jackpot, maybe has a moment. Oh, oh a double splat, the killer This will. is still good, they got That's control still. It's, it's still 3 up, 3 plus 2, but wait, no, they, they, they have so tactical. The okay, no, they, they got, Jackpot's got control here. It might be again another person Sending Kraken in to, oh, good. Wow, dude, Kraken zip. This special can be popped and they can go directly after the That's actually really carrier, cool because like you can do I mean that's kind of expected from 96 because when you got Kraken you kind of just so can push up for free but I'm so it, it's so nice that they paired the zip with the Kraken and that just like completely secures it because like what are you going to do you have like two things like flying at you that pulls out the killer whale 5.1 one more time and another skirmish in close quarters that's going to go advantage jackpot and now jackpot finally getting an attack started in the way that they are so good at doing there they pushed forward really quickly but now Zerus is going after the rainmaker there needs to not go Ooh, down uh -oh. because again Zerus is the best candidate to try to shoot at this rainmaker is now on this side going after yeah, Don Q. jackpot's in a good King. spot just to school well. no way dude good stuff Kaiser in excellent position. All right, here you want to get you want to go for more points. Get a free kill. Yep. Huge. No, they win this. Europe wins this. Europe wins this, dude. How many points are they you get loads of points there. The the and they're still killing, dude. Zaris is going crazy. Let's go. Let's go, guys. This is huge, dude. For a jackpot push, but they've got to go through a checkpoint. And to your point, nine, that was huge that they missed it earlier on. All right, just Absolutely, don't, just don't mess up. Just don't get eat, like Royale silly picks. Just, they still gotta go for the checkpoints too, dude. This is rough for jackpot. Me if Kaiser simply gives up this checkpoint and tries to play it at that point. You heard it right there. That good Zuka from jackpot. Really good start. But that is where the oh, that Kraken is so annoying, dude. Away. That Kraken is so like how far he pushed them back. Goes down. They're trying to get to the first checkpoint. Opportunity here for Jackpot. They've got numbers on the field. Two specials. They got zip. They got this zip and uh, it's an overtime whale jackpot. here. Can't afford any mistake. They've got the troops all lined up. Zerus zip casting, trying to get in, bobbing and weaving, avoiding the killer. Oh, whale. what a zip! What a zip, dude! Game one and the early pop -off. Good stuff, man. From here no, what a good game. Headset. Oh my goodness gracious. They came in here expecting to win this set, and you can see Zara is right dude, there. Dude, all right, no. Kaiser looks right so good right now, dude. Was not they look so so good, so so strong. Carrier ran out just at the end, but they had one other special that could die from. Let's go, EU. The map, and that was Zara's zip faster. <laughs> well, should I just say let's go, Germany? I don't know. At this point. How about Kaiser? Dropping that Kraken is so annoying, line. dude. It's just like, you just have to like match. run away from it. <laughs> had an opportunity there at the end. The Kraken Royale couldn't snuff out the Rainmaker. They get through the first Let's go, Margin. They were able to regroup so quickly, Nine. And the fact that they were not panicking at the end. They knew they had some margin. Kraken win. Zip was so good. Point. At least for Rain. Early on. We don't know about Zetsons, though. But pairing those two together, that's like insane, dude. That's just like so annoying. That's just so annoying to fight. That, once that first Kraken went out, and I, I totally misspoke earlier when I said, yeah, Kaiser might give them up. I want you to think of it like this. When FlyZero used that Kraken Royale and they still had the checkpoint, you could almost think of that as three lives that they were playing with. That Margin's going to be different. No, Margin's, ra Margin's Rapid is so good. I don't know if you guys have ever gone against it. Maybe you have in solo. But in, in, in comp environment, Margin's Rapid is just ridiculous, dude. It's so, it's... He plays it so well, dude. From Kaiser on what they said was their strongest mode. And this was the team Kaiser that said coming in, we want to play in the quarterfinals. We want a chance to warm up before we face one of the top seeds in semifinals. There's something about just being used to the speed and the intensity of day two. And it felt like it caught Jackpot off guard earlier on. Jackpot just did not look as organized. He was playing the 96. As Kaiser did. And uh, I think Fly Zero was. But he's not like the thing is about 96 is that he's not even really you don't really use the weapon it's just the kraken <laughs> it's just the kraken I mean you use the weapon to anchor and hold but like oh my god no the 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 the, the, the kraken just seems so annoying to 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 deal with it dude good match now let me see a dynamo dude. I don't think we're seeing a dynamo today. 
I'm, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna put it out there super so, Jackpot, you might not see a dynamo today you probably aren't gonna see a dynamo roller today yeah right now what I'm a little more concerned about and I'm glad you touched on it Jordan is even outside of the rainmaker mechanics with that they were losing the Kaiser's fired up now dude used to seeing Jack it's just it's, it's just gonna be interesting to see how North America or jackpot let's just say jackpot why am I saying North America like I don't know who they are <laughs> it's just gonna be interesting to see how jackpot comes back from this if they do come back because you know they are they are the favorites as well Especially being the first seed. But at the same time, uh, who knows? Kaiser could be just warmed up from their first game. Unless they have, like, um, PlayStations in the back. Maybe they do. Then at that point, there's no excuse. Fire him. Fire him. Zuka. Zap. Okay. So Zuka battle. Wait, is that? That's a knot as well. It's not the other noise, brain noise. Oh! <laughs> Do you see that that line marker just completely denied Leafy from actually pushing up? That's crazy. Oh, what a shot, dude! An early pick. You heard it. How about that? Oh, one of the most satisfying sound effects you will hear in a video game when that charger finds its mark, and it's a very powerful main weapon on a map like Inkblot. Oh, that's a rough fight. Have to be a little bit better. I don't think he win that. Moving in that super long range is is necessary how about leafy with the nautilus as well too a little bit of a switch up for them they're not using spectator they're perspective with that they're using actual the, the six the they like switching to the players their actual the perspective the nautilus so very very strong at fighting out weapons from range if you think the opponent is going to bring a lot of short range shooters as okay has, this is the tool for the job first checkpoint nice fight by jackpot not much of a lead though and all of a sudden kaiser hops right back on the tower they're going to send it back you see the suction bomb trying to push majin away majin has to retreat just a little bit but here comes a trizuka ready to roll for kaiser whenever they want oh uh, i didn't knock it right they lose the tower though and right now they're just trying to get a little bit organized up. see the leverage uh -oh. that jackpot currently has yep that was a very early use of the trizuka to try to find where jackpot's members are hiding and then generate your attack okay you this push might be dead already conjunction with it so they didn't really find anybody as a result of that uh, so Europe well Kaiser doesn't have any more specials right Jackpot can now fight it but Jackpot are losing the fight in the of who just got two the splatter shot got two Pfizer go just got two though how and they got specials again all right well this is gonna be a big push from uh, from Kaiser Trizuka coming out, trying to mow down a few opponents. They're working their way through the second checkpoint. Almost there. They have to hop out. Nice, Majin dude. able to clear it. And how about this opening push from Kaiser? Well, and Ishik gets back, too. If Ishik wins this fight with okay. Jerry, could get push is now dead. Hurry, but it does appear that Jerry he jumps out. Okay, okay. There because that could have been down into the 20s. But a push no, no one's stealthing there. This ain't Splatoon 1. <laughs> is great. Not a big lead, though, on a map yeah, like It's not this. the greatest. It's, it's not. The, 43 is not a big, big lead on this map, but... So it's still a good start. Oh, right okay. Jackpot's, a Jackpot's got a really good push there. Now you can move forward and put some pressure with their anchor down. And Jackpot wasting no time. This is the Jackpot we're used to seeing all four of them up in positions oh. to attack. They've Do you already win that? I don't think you win Zeris that. No, definitely not. Everybody firing at Zeris. Surely somebody That's a really good control from Jackpot there. Fire at this, but no, the other members weren't able to get there in time. They will lose the lead, Jordan. And oh, goes okay. Down. To that point, you build the lead, and you had to do everything. You Good wipe. Ish. Though, they have a five-point lead with just over two minutes left. Took them less than forty-five seconds to get right back into the I game. Mean, and that is jackpot in a nutshell. There, you give them one opening, one engagement in mid that they find a way to win, and they will take it for ah, everything. Dude. They will try to move forward and attack and spawn camp you for all the. Oh, that's a kill there. there. Oh, that's now two. These teams, with that first all right, away, so jackpot only have strikes and potential zuka to stop this, but. Uh, they got tactical it. They're chasing them down straight away. You gotta use the zip to kill that guy then. Oh, unlucky. All three members, Jordan, jumping both of those players. Oh, what? Zeris goes down right as they what? avoid the zip caster. They'll get he a chance two? to come right back, though. 
but they lose the tower. They can't threaten. They're still in control, though. They still got so much control. Goes down. Here's oh, the door. no. It's open for Kaiser. And they Jackpot has no specials now. They got to jump back in way ahead. Madness is in the they got lead position here. to go after this tower. They'll lose the lead. Madness desperately oh, needs to win this Oh, dude, fight. this is messy from Jackpot. The side there will not be able to swim back up. Fly Zero can get on the tower. Down here. goes This is Madness. so messy from Jackpot. Why is it? Why? forward there. Ishik has now pushed another one out. Fly Zero fighting against Leafy here. They have another tacticaler up here. Jordan, are they going to back up? Oh, the dude, Kaiser wants this, dude. not dive at the tower there and instead give themselves back mid. And and now with under a minute left, they have a 17 point lead. It's gonna come down to this. Ink Storm comes it's out. It's only a minute left, bomb, dude. Oh, you cannot. He didn't lose the flight. Flies are going crazy. And he's jumping. That's a good jump. Again, good defensive jump. That and 30 seconds. Well. Oh, oh, there's so there. much control from Kaiser, dude. I, I, the shooters are getting shot right now for <laughs> The shooters are no getting shot. <laughs> Kaiser yes, Jordan. <laughs> dominate the final 30 <laughs> seconds ago up 2-0. Look at the steely-eyed focus of all four members as they can smell victory. 20 seconds left. They are coordinated. They are juiced up. Tactic cooler out. Kaiser <laughs> they is are on juiced up. Level at this moment. He said the line. Madness, all right, Jackpot has... And tries to move up there to they have clouds. Zaris. Zaris they can get specials going is. off this Madness though. Still waiting around it. They don't have any oh, they lose Q. But somebody went down oh, it's game. That's game. 100%. Oh, oh let's, go, let's go, EU. Let's go, Kaiser. Come on, one more game. One more game, dude. One more game, dude. You guys got it. They're so fired up. Let's go, dude. They, they want it, dude. They want it. Let's go. They have been at separating the members of Jackpot and taking them down. Listen, it's one thing if everyone goes in as a coordinated attack and you see three members of Jackpot go down at the same time. Because what does that tell you, Jordan? It says they went for an attack. They've got the energy advantage, man. Instead, we're seeing like we're we'll, okay. We'll look at look, look. We're looking at Kaiser here. Loads of energy, but if you look over there, you have jackpot, and the energy is low. And it's I mean, only understandable because they're they're not they're they're losing silly some silly situations, you know. And it's not like it, obviously you don't want to lose, so like the energy is not going to be like oh okay. How do you stay hyped from that? You know, so. Jackpot just needs to. Get back to them old selves, you know. They just need to get back to their old selves and uh, just lock in from here, dude. Because they're not, they're, def they're definitely not out of it yet. And they're definitely very capable of beating Kaiser, too. But I don't know, man. You got a fired up Kaiser right now, dude. You, you do have a very fired up Kaiser. Why didn't my text to speech work? I turned it off because this game is going on, dude. Oh my god, this is a game. We are having a game right now, dude. Say that with the pop offs that we have been seeing here from the side of Kaiser, that if there is a 3 0, yeah, the power of the, the energy, they, they gotta lock, they all gotta lock in here. We better get one. We better yeah, I, get one. I'm almost asking for it at this point here, but we will see. We did say right before this set start, or er, this uh, set started, Jordan, we'll just kind of refer to it here. That those were the two Kaiser came to play. No, 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 it's 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 one of those times where like Kaiser came to play, you know. To be feeling like they are right now. But if you didn't get those two, we gave you very little chance of winning this set. Now you got those two. You have to prove that you can This is why they're here too, you know. So I mean, we saw in the European chance when Alliance Rogue was also set to win or not set to win, but like the mo probably the probably most the most favored to win. Kaiser won one against them, you know. Listen, this is the so they definitely, they're definitely on it. Thinking, listen, swept our way I don't know what signs they're putting up. I don't know what it means, like but <laughs> let's go Kaiser anyway. Come on, Kaiser. A dominant win would really hit the mute button over there for Kaiser. But Kaiser right now is they're so locked in, dude. They feel supercharged. They're the playing the, they're playing it so well too. That's yeah, the thing. They're they're playing it so well, like, and they're winning like. Flyzer is getting like a lot of like they're winning. Flyzer is winning a lot of their one v ones with either shot or ninety six so far. Even when they were in previous incantations of their team, they were good at this. They sense the moment of where they need to move. Mika's getting a lot of good tacticals as well. Get their points scored in those moments, but. They're always in a good position. So much 
and they still haven't put dot q back on that snipe rider 5h he's gone to a number of different weapons and I, i'm not yeah, saying Marge's rapid is always one. nuts i'm just saying i'm legit Marge's rapid's been nuts since platoon well, one dude i already know <laughs> Marge is the so only put like the in splatoon one rapid was not really considered a weapon where it was like really good and then margin came along on creme fresh and then i started believing that this weapon's actually good but like it was only him where it was just like where i actually ever believed that rapid could actually be good chiro thank you so much for the membership in, t t in youtube i appreciate it so of jackpot at the world championship Taking a look at the other side, Jared okay, has let's see. Over to let's see. This is a this is a clam this game. Fifty-two deco. Okay. Color screen that can really make it difficult for the opponent. Oh, the splatter color screen does go hard though. And Jordan, there's only one way through on this map. If you take away your opponent's visibility on it, it can really hinder them. Splatter color screen is just like just an annoying special to deal with. Because it's just like it's a big mind game. If either you take damage, get and become weak, and see less. And you just have a weapon that just fights, dude. <laughs> it's just another weapon that just, it's with 152. I mean, look how much space. Look, look at it. What, what does Jack? What does um? Kaiser do against that? That's so annoying. They all had to just move back. I thought. Sorry, I thought Kaiser was using a 52 gal, but like, what do you do against that? <laughs> it's so annoying. That's not going to be insurmountable by any means. Like, you just throw it down, and it's just like, um, you just cause so much, you just create so much space and just, like, contain the enemy team in just, like, one spot. Oh. Either way, let's go EU. Alright, can we get a good zip? Can we get a good zip going, dude? Oh, we lost the player. We lost another player, it's 2v4, 2v3. Good kill. Main offense is dead. But they still have a shot. Gotta be careful of Zuka. One player being taken down at an opportune time can slow it down. And you can also see here, Jordan, how difficult it is to score on this map. If you go up, oh, we lost those at Ishik now goes down. Zeris is way back behind, so this is probably another one. Jackpot's playing very uh, patient now. Trying to take out Dot Q had no luck. Leafy came in and provided some excellent support. And so, with under three minutes left, a power clamp in possession for Kai. What a jump, though! Such a good jump. Good kick. A splat on Leafy. That's going to give an opportunity three plus three. for Kaiser. Check oh. out things up top. Majin trying to back up. Power clamp in. Dude, how do you get out of that? At this moment here, nine. You can't. Oh, unlucky. And there they go. And how about the defense from Jackpot to push them out of there? Yeah, defense just long enough. And then once you get one player out there who's been a big piece of their Dude, that screen is so annoying, dude. It, it, it just creates so much side. free space. They haven't scored yet on it. They're simply going back and trying to take care of Zeris before anything bad can happen. But Jackpot, Jackpot unfortunately exactly couldn't get the push the off that. Shot there from but the space they... Uh, score if they were to be able to get the push, the space that just creates for them is just so good. Ooh, good clear out just jump out all right it's basically a, it's essentially a, a full wipe here with just over two minutes left and here comes the super jump by zara's on the back end killer will 5.1 ready to go here on the back side mm. majin just trying to pepper a few shots at the moment zara's pairing and that's a 52 is down punches down goes jared yeah then jared probably has the best main weapon right now in that position to fight through for them here i want to point out mm, that maybe not bucket <laughs> i don't think they need to bring up the bucket power claims if they want to take the lead back immediately so no Major danger in good kill for them in terms of losing this lead it's probably they get four of us three push or just two pushes here for kaiser so far they haven't scored out you can see jordan they really want to take out these other members of jackpot before they try to push oh them. the push is dead dude long once again i can't do anything here rest in peace oh and a wipe out for jackpot here's oh, an opportunity aren't they german they are german trying to add to this kaiser lead. is a german Tactic team cooler comes out a sprinkler up top to provide a little bit more support but they're representing all of Europe, right? So, no pressure. <laughs> okay. I think this game might be already over, dude. Yeah. Yeah, this game's over. 100%. They just win here. Okay. Okay, look. Okay, look. Kaiser's just like, okay, we only give them one. One is all they get. 
<laughs> you see the play of cards? It's like, oh, they, they, we give them one. We give them one. Great work there from the members of Jackpot. Oh, my God, dude. Again, on a mode, oh. One of their stronger modes, but I just realized, again, if they win this, if Jackpot wins this game, we're going to tar 4, dude. Oh, no, it's going to happen. Oh, God. That's going to be so painful, man. <laughs> oh God. We're gonna, we might end this on a coin flip. Kaiser, just win it, dude. So we don't have to, we don't have to deal with the anguish, dude. Just, just win it. Oh God. Let's not go to tough four. Oh my God. I saw two scripts. There's, there is a script where we go to tough four, and everyone is going to be mad on Twitter about that this game. And there's a script where Kaiser wins. And I want, I hope the Kaiser wins this game script actually works, all right? I hope it's the one. It is zones. It is zones. And I think, uh, oh God, it's museum zones. Museums is such a, on this map is such a scary, on, on this game is such a scary zones map. Because you can get easily, so, like, locked out so easily. Oh man, Kaiser, you better but I feel like Kaiser's really good on this map too. Again, we don't want to put the cart before the horse by any means, but this is a team and Kaiser that said, "Listen, turf war is not our strength, and if that is going to be the potential game five to decide who oh goes to the final." Oh my god, I hope it, I hope it doesn't go to game five. Please don't go to game five, dude. Del Fonsino and we talked about the strength of Jackpot, how comfortable they feel in flat zone. Please don't do you don't go to level game level. five, it's please. Good at splat zones. It's the most popular mode. It is the most commonly played in competitive play all over the world. So you know that they feel good on it is, as a whole. Now talking about the map with Museum D'Alfonsino, this is a really interesting one because back lines can absolutely control this map. Yeah, honestly. Fashion. And, I mean, you saw right like Snipe Right is really good here. Map mode combination in the last game in Clam Blitz. Any sort of resider is also really good here, but rapid is also really good here too. But and we're talking about margin rapid, which is different. I'm I'm super glazing right now, but still. I hope the Twitter script is not the one, dude. Oh no, dude. Kaiser, win it, please, so we don't have to deal with that. All right, you win it here. You win it here. Come on. Duelies? Okay. Same comp. All right. Alright, it's going to be interesting how this plays out. Nine, what do we see here? Well, we're seeing a lot of the same from both sides. Kai's takes a load of control, gets the early pick on the machine. Over to the splat duelies, which means they're going to have a crab tank at their disposal. That stamp is going to be so annoying to deal with. He's already set up. On this centerpiece and make life very difficult for their opponents. But for the time, all right, you have Zuko. You need to get up. Oh my god, Kaiser's doing it. Oh, nice kill. Can't get to the second level. Down goes a member of Kaiser. They're like on their platform. Jackpot, two special. You Zuko. Oh, he messed up Zuko. Zuko trying to apply a little bit of pressure. Tank taking down one member, looking for another one, trying to avoid the killer whale. Five point one, but how about this? Fifty oh. points off the board already. Nine. Well, look at where the fight <gasps> is taking place. Two people Yo. are locked into dive. Zeres here. Zeres takes both of these players out. You can't take both of them out. No, no way. There for I'm those lucky. Members there. That has kept the That's a good start, though. Very good start. You gotta jump out. That was for Jackpot's tournament line. They know you're there. They you gotta survive. jump out. Okay. They do not go down to Zeres in the zip caster, and their gamble pays off. And it does. A 50-point penalty, so some breathing room for Jackpot. Now they've got to make this push really How well does Kaiser get back into this, this moment, one? Dot Q is just going to stay on top of the... Okay, Rapid kills Stampo, for zone. sure, but they traded. And that's going to put tremendous pressure on Kaiser as they try to find openings to All get right. in there. Yep, they did take two players Oh, out, what a pick! And that's a really big oh, deal, no! Because that means no tactical what a pick! Go on, Zeres! This you get a free kill here. Oh, yes. Comes out just a bit too oh, you got another pick. Another one goes down as I think Kaiser gets control here. Oh, no, the Zuka, though. Zone, they were not able to oh, but okay, no, no, they get the control. They, get, they do get troll. Actually, no, they don't. Those are two shooters they're not able to get through this sniper rider. And this is huge because Kaiser could try to provide a penalty. 
they need to get that penalty. It's, got, it's so rough because they got sniper at too, and the sniper is just. Oh, they caught it. Okay. They lose the fight, but at least they got the penalty. They got the penalty. Okay. Oh, this is huge. We gotta get the zone now. At least neutral. That's a good whale. Yes, jackpot wrestles it back. Okay, good. We have Zipcast though. We gotta use the Zipcast to get a pick. No. That's what they've done. Is Jared dives forward. It felt like Kaiser was more focused on the spawn that was gonna be happening with the super jump into the zone rather than just kicking the zone. So now a three-point lead. Just over two minutes left. Jackpot takes control again. This is a huge game and a couple of big moments so good far. Pick. Oh, good picks from, yep, from Kaiser. From good picks. Down, Come on, boys. You kill that. You kill that. Nice. To take one out, but it's a trade, so it is a wash. Again, folks, keep an eye on the top of the screen. There are only 30 points of penalty there. Oh, down, what a slash, dude. Not tacticaler, Jordan. It's going to be a while before that crab tank comes out. Yeah, the crab tank's going to take a while to come out. That was huge. Two members on the and they're close to Zuka, too, dude. They can, they can literally end the game here. 10 seconds away from taking the lead here. Is it Costa like comes out? Good whale. Kaiser gets control again. Oh, no more crab. One player does That's go gonna jump back. Zipcaster, but Jared went down as part of it too. Majin staying up there. Fly zero as well. They're gonna try to pin all their hopes on one side. Oh, of the good map pick. And crash in. A couple <gasps> goes down, but they have the crab tank, which means they're going to have much better presence on the zone. No. Oh, that's a big one right there. Three oh, right. Jared got, That was a huge members. play from Jared. And this is an opportunity here. They're gonna chop into this penalty, but time is not on their side here for Jackpot. I mean, one minute can last an awfully long time in splat zones, especially when you take out Zeris. That that early in, that's their main fighting force. Then Majin needs to be careful. Got stuck out just a little bit too Ooh, far. Dudes. Escaped this with so his close. Life. Just over 10 ticks left here for this to switch over, Jordan. They are thinking knockout. Five more seconds left. Can Jackpot? Jackpot's Lock gonna get lead here. Clock winding down. Jackpot takes the lead. You see the frustration oh, for Kaiser. No, Six dude, we're gonna left. go to Jackpot top four. To force a game five. Can they we're do gonna it? go oh, to yes. top four, game dude. Game five. Pop off on cue. Jackpot has set the table. We're gonna oh, go to tough man. wall. Are so oh, oh, so oh no, dude! Oh, look at it! I love it! I love it! Yes! We're going to tough really wall, dude! Oh here, no! Believe this was just a semifinal. Oh! Be able to take no! It. The trader script is real, dude. <laughs> <ended. Zeris laughs> no! Saying, it happened! It happened! It's what it is. Oh. Now, Turf War for our Game 5. This was the nightmare scenario for Kaiser after how those first two games... Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much, dude. We're going to friggin' Turf War, dude. set for Game 5. Turf War. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. And Jackpot. Oh, no, dude. Look, man. I did say, you know what? I did say this. I did call this. <laughs> like, what if we went to Tile 4? I did say I wanted to see this. Just to sh oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You don't understand how bad this is. Because, <laughs> like, if either team... Because it doesn't, like... Oh god, this is actually so bad. This is actually so bad. Because literally either team can win. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Do we need to have people up there like protect? Tough was just so bad, dude. Whoever wins this, I'm dead serious here. The pop off controller spike is coming. The pop off is going to be legendary for whoever wins. How is this bad though? Because Tough War is not a competitive mode. Look, one team is look. Okay, watch what just happened. Look, this is what I saw this in part of the script. One team is going to completely dominate, and then they're going to lose one fight, and then the other team is just going to win that last fight, and then they're going to win. This is, this is, this is, look, I saw the scripts, all right? I saw them. This is exactly, this is exactly what's going to happen. And everyone's going to be mad about it, all right? Oh, God. 
what a way for this set to end up going where for two of these games i, I would say three of these games, we had a nice run no e i want eu to win obviously maybe kaiser loses the whole fight oh god what comps what comps are we gonna use what comps are we gonna see i mean i'm trying to think from when Kaiser last played tough, and they were really, really good at it too. They they played it really well. From how I saw them play, it. I don't know how well Jackpot plays tough. But at the same time, who cares? It's friggin' tough war. It doesn't prove if you're better than. It doesn't prove if you're better than one team than the other, right? It really doesn't prove. I hate this so much, man. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> in the finals up for grabs game five couldn't ask for anything more at this moment in the semifinals. no and being the world championship is look kaiser's got the vibes up zara's pulled a smile they might be still good all right they, they're still good this is like it's just it's a freaking coin flip man it sucks in the history books and it's in the comeback of all maps dude oh my god who is gonna get the win as they get set. One oh, this team is disgusting, dude. Come to a crashing end at this moment and hump back pump track. Not surprising at all. The reflux back for both of these teams. No here, Zookas. Course, is turf war, and that is the strongest weapon for it. The best turfing main weapon in the game, especially when you're trying to hit some if of the straight for fights there. there. Leafy immediately diving forward and trying to fight. Still a lot of time in this game, but they're trying to yeah, it's a patient board, game, dude. Keep them away from certain parts of the map, certain points of no return. What? Zero. You're lagging. You're lagging. How are you lagging on LAN? So right now, it looks like it's pretty <laughs> even on the map. We can't tell from this band. How did that kill? Anyone going to explain that? <laughs> This map, but here comes Ishik on the bottom side. As you said before, it's ginormous nine. There's all sorts of oh, what a kill! Yeah, how did you kill him? You're lagging, too, which means you have to be very deliberate about actually making sure that you've covered it all. They've done a pretty good job of kind of exchanging around and fighting on the other side, though. It can get a little dangerous there if you let them too far on your side. Both teams not really letting that point of no return come. And as I say that, two players do go down from Kaiser, so the door may be open if Jackpot wants to move forward. Jared, Jackpot got most of the pain control with that now, dude. Shark out the competition. Leaf, oh, no, I lied. However, it's interesting they're not Kaiser fighting mid yet. For a couple of members going down, they still have a decent amount of ink on the map. Yep, good job by them here. You can see Jared and Zeris fighting at the top of the screen. Probably means uh, that somewhere dude, on the I feel back sick. side, missiles are coming. And yes, indeed, they do. Jared now still fighting it out in the tent of missiles. I feel Both so sick about this. Fire it out there. Everybody was boxed in there, which means that it's Jackpot who will be in a much better position going into this last minute. Three members went down for Kaiser. Jackpot can try to stabilize things as Madness just tries to cover as much turf on top of that hump there. Fly Zero goes down. Leapy oh, oh nice kill. goes down in the zip caster. Oh. Zeres with a critical splat. Does get taken down in revenge though there. Jared goes down as well, but that's going to mean that this they last still got time. will be started by Kaiser cleaning up their own side of the map. That's going to Kaiser has more opportunity to build special because there's more to pain. It's going to come down to who can unload the most specials at the 30 second mark. Oh, someone's at the door. Comes out, fly Zero juiced up. Leafy in hot pursuit of Majin trying to keep Majin at bay at this moment and a big spot on Sarah is right there oh. with just under 40 seconds left that's huge because they used their tactical earlier as well actually wait madness went down there so that means that they're not going to have a tactical until a little later on i don't know where their special meter oh. is Leafy desperately needs to hold this position she opts to who's winning so oh look it's the script is going well this look it's just literally it's like how i said with the script oh no 15 seconds uh -oh. left. Who's going to wrestle the victory and find Who, their oh way to the no. 11 seconds left. Two members go down for Kaiser. Opportunity for Jackpot. Leafy's going to have to do some work here real quick. Who's going to get those last few drops of ink? Three seconds left. Three, two I on can't the map. Believe this. Jackpot trying to go in a hurry. They feel awfully confident. Let's take a look at the map I here. I can't Jackpot. believe this. Did they complete the reverse sweep? One no. more look. It does look like it. Jackpot. No, How about dude. that? Down 0-2. Flips the broom over. Oh, they I take hate. a three two and find their this way. This is the bad ending, the dude. Finals. This is the bad oh, ending. Oh, and they are up and hugging their This is the bad ending, dude. Their first set of the day, and it goes like this.
They no. are letting their opponents have it at this point. Oh, it's such a stupid game type, man. Done. Let's just hope for Jackpot that they still have some gas left in the tank. Some handshakes there. Hey, and man, the sportsmanship. I respect it. Margin already in the there. Line, Say good game. Teams. Good sportsmanship. A set. I hate Tough War so goodness, much, man. Final second. It's such a dumb Jackpot game type. <laughs> able to outlast Kaiser and courtesy a couple of key splats down the end that just gave him a chance. It's that such a dumb game a type, dude. To get something like this it's just so bad. Semifinals. Unbelievable action that we just saw there. Put that one in the Splatoon 3 competitive lore. That is a set that we soon. It's get. so bad, dude. I mean, it's one of the first <laughs> it's so I've bad. A Splatoon set go the true distance. To have it, it's in game five. It just—it's even a worse feeling, dude. All right, I'm gonna stay off Twitter for 24 hours. <laughs> I'm staying off Twitter for 24 hours. It's—it's it's not a competitive mode. It's just not. It's just not a competitive mode. Not saying that Jackpot couldn't have won another game five or well, a game five on any other mode. Because they definitely could. But it's just the worst that it had to be tough for. <laughs> it's just the worst that it had to be tough for. Alright, we have Australia to look forward to now. Come on, Australia. Okay, no, I, I'm curious. I have to look at Twitter. I have to. What is going on? I need to see what's happening. Once they did that and then splat zone, it was getting a little frightening there for Jackpot at a moment. They picked up a key splat in the corner against Zara's in a two on one situation, allowed them to wrestle the zone back, and finally they're able to get the KO. <laughs> yeah, that game. game could have ended almost immediately. You can't get anything set up with the Snipe Rider in Tactical or Loot if a couple players go down when you're diving at Zara's on that side. So. At that point, they did just enough. They flipped a couple of times here, and they took advantage of the fact that they did have the better turf output Man. than what their opponents on Kaiser had. Oftentimes, that's what Splat It was a good set, though. It was definitely a good set. Uh, we do love to see it. We do love to see players talk back to each other and all that, dude. It's the best. That's that's what I live for, you know. As long as as long as with it's in it's it's when it's in the game, right? I did wish for a game five. I did wish for a game five. <laughs> I did wish for a game five. We got the game five tough for. Whether it was Ishik or whether Fly Zero fell into the middle of the map, that completely changed the dynamic because that means one of your shooters is back at spawn. Majin was back at spawn at the time that you were so rough, man. To have your reflux there working the middle of the map. And Be careful what you wish for. So <laughs> I did <laughs> wish for a game five tough. We got a game five tough. At least it's just to showcase that game five tough sucks. But you know what? You know what's worse than a game five tough, a game seven tough. <laughs> so hopefully, whoever goes, like whoever goes to the finals right now, I hope we get a game seven tough. <laughs> Come on, please. Can that? Can we make that happen? <laughs> I'm pretty sure finals is is best of seven, right? <laughs> it probably be all my fault for wishing this into existence, dude. Oh, who, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Does anyone know who this guy is? <laughs> we should all, we should all strive to strive to be this guy, dude. <laughs> we need to be more like him. I don't know who he is. But we need to be more like him. I wish I was that locked in, just in life. Who let bro on the team? Who let bro on the team? Look, no, it's not who let bro on the team. It's a good thing we let bro on the team, because that guy is ready to play, alright? <laughs> that guy is ready to play. I wouldn't want to play against him. Some opponents on the other side of the bracket were able to do. You know that they are all right, Japan. Right now, you need to win these 
Japan notoriously always the favorites when it comes to Splatoon, because this is their game. Just like it's as much as my game. Actually, it might be my game more than Japan. What do you guys think? Let's recap the semi-final rules as our teams get set. We've got five games. What do you guys think? All the game modes and maps have been predetermined. Well, dude is Australian. I am? Well, I did run... I have been to Australia in my memories. Not physically, but... Dude is the only Splatoon player. <laughs> now, yeah, I'm interested to see what J J Japan's comp is. Mainly because, like, I feel like the comps are so different on LAN Nintendo style event because it's only primary abilities compared to um, online where it's like I'm maxed out using an insane gear and all that so because barnacle and dime is a map where that killer whale can be very very strong if you line it up in the right way the opponent really doesn't have a lot of places to go if you put it up there but they've got some options here they should be able to fight three zook is in a pencil imagine be surprised if we see any major changes why do they only do primary because they don't allow us to use our own switches because potential hacking which no one does what i'm wondering as well is what are they going to play here because everything that we have seen from them has been turf war and tuya has been the one from their squad who's been playing the reef which i don't even think is oh i don't even know how possible that is dude it, there's no substitute for that weapon in turf war but it's not like they should allow us to use our own switches but they should have a representative to check every single switch literally every single switch before the game starts, you know. Just about anywhere with that weapon, but this will be the first time we see them play a more attack heavy mode rather than like every single they just need to check every switch, check inside the home menu, check inside everywhere, look at like have like a rep for each player and check literally everything, check if it's modded or hacked or homebrewed or anything like that, and then you know. You heard some players talked about controllers being uncomfortable for them. Yes, yeah, because it's wired. It's wired control. It, there's there's extra input lag. <laughs> That's why it's uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable to play in that kind of a, that kind of in set because they're they're all, they're all using wired controllers, dude. Obviously, all of these teams in Japan... A tournament mode that let you set abilities? That would be an actual amazing change. Like, imagine you could go into, like, the show, but then you have the choice to actually, like, set your own, like, mini packs as well. That would actually be amazing. Yeah, but there's great familiarity with all these modes. I don't want to make this sound as though... So the controller doesn't run out of battery. So the Nintendo doesn't charge the controllers now. That's insane. <laughs> More input lag and wired, yeah. Now there's there's an extra frame of input lag, but it goes it's such a it goes such a long way, dude. It's actually it actually goes such a long way. It is gonna be wild, but as they get the setup taken care of right now, fixing just a few things on the monitor. This is what I was worried about. Everybody jumps up, and the poor monitors bear the brunt of your excitement. Well, the excitement, as we said before, is really starting to raise the temperature here. And for the Greasy Goblins, they're excited to be here. As we said before, no team in the history of Australia and New Zealand, their representation at these World Championships, we've had four of these over the last seven years. They haven't made it this far. They've won an entire set, and now they get to this point. They've got to be feeling very confident. They are seasoned. You've got the experience of Latias. And for Phantom Thief of the Heart, you get a chance to prove that no, you aren't the underdog. You belong here. There is a reason. What are they saying on Twitter? Everyone's praising Kaiser from what I'm from what from what I'm seeing. No one's complaining yet, but maybe we'll complain later. <laughs> maybe we'll complain later. But everyone's like play, Everyone is like is giving love for Kaiser because truly they played insane. Let's just be real. They did play insane. But it just sucks that it has to end on a tough, you know. Some competitors in every aspect of the game, and there's something to be said for the fundamentals that do translate from Turf War into these other modes. But the thing is, it's just like it—it it would happen either way. 
like it, it just it's just it's not even the, it's not the player's fault it's just the it's just how the format is you know it's just su it just sucks that it has to like end on a on a game five like that and i think like whether it was kaiser or jackpot who lost it, like we all know that it's just not it's just not like the it's just the worst kind of game type to win on you know like they still lost you know it is what it is Listen, you're but probably not it is generally just the worst kind of way to lose, you know. You made sometimes where maybe you can get a quick pop and then score more points. No one can say otherwise. Unless, like, there's a little Timmy in the chat who's just like, but Tafo is competitive, which is just, stop it. Go back to sleep. Looks like everything's connected and ready to roll. We are getting the stage set. For our very first game here, this best of five semi Even commentators, yeah, it's it's crazy that the commentators are creep. Like, oh my god, imagine you have to play tough war game five. As we prepare for this, and this is going to be very exciting. That's insane, dude. Actually insane. Kiss Kisukua, thank you so much for the tier one in the Twitch chat. Thank you so much, much appreciated. Oh, absolutely. And if you're Phantom Thief of the Heart, you, you can't even be thinking about what Jackpot might do. You've got to take care of the business that's in front of you. And if you're the Greasy Goblin... I wonder if they're finally going to nerf Pencil. They didn't even have Pencil. Heart, they have, I saw... Later here, so. I could have sworn it was like a Pencil only in like two maps for Jackpot. It was just... Arguably the biggest I was going to say Gobi. I was, it's Umami and um, Museum. Phantom Thief of the Heart to get to the finals. What would that mean? Boy, a lot of respect for that. How much money is in in the pot if they win? I it's a like a grand spanking huge amount of zero dollars. About improving, they host so many events there. The production value. I'm pretty sure they get a plate if they win. Top notch. They've always been so friendly in trying to help grow their. They get a plate. It's a position that's a bit unfortunate. Again, at least you can eat. You get a nice meal, eat on the plate or something. I don't know. Even a simple weekend event for them would mean having to stay up until 6 a.m. on a work day. <laughs> Win against the plate. Let's go. <laughs> so it's a golden opportunity. It could be historic for them, and I know they're just happy to have it. As we said before, so many teams from all these regions. Just to get to this moment, here we are. We are going to get rolling with game one of our second semifinal. The, the banner is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure everyone gets the banner, though. Even us. Maybe we're the real winners. Let's go ahead and get a moment to check Cuz they said the, they said the banner comes out later today, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure we do. Well, oh my goodness gracious here. There's a winners only banner? Bringing out the Spoosh-O-Matic here. This is not a joke, my friends. Next was the very best player of this weapon in Splatoon 2 by just about any metric that you can push together. Wait, we have a Sploosh? Oh, no way. A Sploosh and a Slash? Not the deco that we That's not a mistake, right? So it's instead going to be an I mean, it's Rainmaker. Here, I get but, it. Uh, there's some other things on the ground right now. Sukiyomi's mad. That was very quick. Three Phantom Thieves calm. Go down Dude, I love to see the regular Rapid Blast, the though. Checkpoint advancing and a lot of purple link. Said it before. Say it, say it again. They're regular Rapid Blast is the most right underrated now, weapon in the game. I said it at the very start there, of the game. That hammer because they had that ink vac set up to cover them as they were running it the distance there. But as I said earlier, melee weapons can find a way to get through. So Japan, well. the, the, like, exact tool, and Japan wins here. Kept this game alive. A key plot It'd be sick to see what Australia does here, but. Forward, but an opening push all the way in terms of fighting for phantom thief that is how you start you're kind of relying on just the squeezer to be the main weapon and then the crab to get picks i'm not too sure what the sploosh is going to do though you're ultra stamp but yeah goes down with the rainmaker and all of a sudden that's going to stop any attempts that the greasy goblins had to get back on the board and all four members of Phantom Thief just advancing forward and you've got No, nah, Majin used the uh, reflux on the tough one game. Yep, they pushed them back and done a pretty good just, job. Just ultimately the better pick all the time because it pinch more. to try to take out a key member of the opposing side. But what is this dude? It appears that that's really all it's I'm looking at a, I'm seeing a sploosh. <laughs> like I look I love the sploosh. I'll always rate the sploosh. one shot all it took. I don't think the sploosh, there are enough parts for the sploosh to really pop off. 
all over the map just creating havoc against their but i just don't know what it's going to do a here one squid wrecking crew at the moment unbelievable how good this guy yeah, has been at the start here if you wondered if he was warm how about that for it and he has really from the start of this team's uh kind of run i missed it as it cost the post pot the, the key player everyone's been through the hammer look out for sorry the, the one moment i wasn't looking at the screen at point, the i was looking at you guys sorry defending, i'll react harder two or three down on the opponent's side if they want to get any sort of stability oh what is this dude push. and they just haven't had that advantage with two and a half minutes left it's finally four three for a moment but the rainmaker in possession of phantom thief Toya, yeah, the pace Japan's playing at is crazy, dude. Forcing them to retreat. A couple more members jumping in. And They're they playing so quick. Take out two members of the Greasy Goblins. Yep, it is rough sledding for them here at that point. One member does come back and take them out, so good job there by Remy to at least stop that push. But all the other members of Phantom Thief are going to be able to safely jump in. That vacuum is so annoying. It's always, always in such a good there. spot. Will they get it fired? No. They fire it, but that means this weapon is just so good, dude. I've been saying for so long this weapon is so good. The same, but Jordan, we've been commentating the same game the entire time. It really has been. The Rainmaker's just been. <laughs> and has been trying to end the game. It's just been a little bit of a struggle. And they've got to do something to advance it forward. And that's just going to be retreating on the rails at the moment. They got one extra point. Yeah, that's something. Now it's three two on the map. A chance with the greasy goblins. Benign. It feels like Japan is playing three times quicker. I think we should check their controllers. This is not fair. How are they playing quicker than us? <laughs> Do you think there's a bias? They got different controllers. They are in Japan. They are in Japan. Oh no, there might be some theory conspiracy here, dude. Who knows? Now they're down. Here comes the wipeout, and this is an opportunity for I definitely don't play like that with one extra frame of input li input lag. Who knows? If it stops up here, it artificially lengthens where the greasy goblins are going to have to go. They're going to try one more time to protect it all the way through. Oh, yep, there it is. They got less input lag. Look, it's just not fair. They're playing within their home region. There's no jet lag. Like, look. They're not playing with lag. They're not playing with jet lag. Like, come on, man. This is not fair. We need to play in a different country. The, the, the Splatoon World Champs needs to be hosted in, like... Rainmaker is the mode, maybe of all modes, that can get away from you. Norway or something. That's always been the MO of Rainmaker. Is one mistake or one player falls off the map. And you can Tartica, Egypt? So I don't know, man. Sweden? Sweden would be a cool place. Canada? You know what? Actually, no. Actually, Canada might be a shell. <laughs> Mexico? Well, maybe not Mexico. <laughs> maybe not Mexico. <laughs> just such an uphill battle when you have to get to 10 after the first <laughs> come to the philippines puerto rico no you can't just say las vegas that's basically america i mean you figure any other subsequent push host it in england oh my god just host it in england oh my host it in england dude it's the best place i swear it's the best place to host an event <laughs> <laughs> Come to London. It would look. It'll be great. Because then no one would be. Because look, I, that means I am guaranteed to go to the World Champs, right? They can bring me in as a commentator. Don't worry, I'll learn. But like, they can bring me in as a commentator, and like. But it's still I will do all the commentary work. I will also host. I will do all the work. I will also play the game as well. <laughs> I will qualify. I will play for the... I will play. Play the game. But I will also... Like, there'll be... I will also be in the commentary booth while I'm playing the game. Commentating what's going on. Also coming out. <laughs> it would be amazing. They got Amiibos to save their gear. I would dare say that this is the most played map mode combination in all of Splatoon. Mm -hmm. It is every tournament this finds a way to make it mm -hmm. into the map list there because it's You're in two places at once. It That's why it would be such a good way, dude. Everybody's familiar with it. How would you commentate if you reach the finals? I'll find a way, all right? 
Don't worry about that. I will find a way. I always find a way. Alright. I'll be the camera. I'll be that cameraman who's on the. You know, like those cameramen who are on like those big production TV things that like sitting down and they're like floating around, just like that'll be me. <laughs> that'll be me. I'll be that guy. I'll, I'll be that kind of camera guy. That'll be me with my whole gaming setup as well, just a monitor. <laughs> and my, te uh, my teammates are all just sitting down at their normal stations and they're just me flying around, <laughs> flying around the whole set. <laughs> I'll fly behind the team, the, the other team, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that'll be so hilarious. Alright. <laughs> he'll, be he'll be wearing the Switch Lavo, dude. <laughs> It's the only way to play, dude. Okay, let's go goblins. Oh, the machine is too powerful, though. The setup. Oh my god, that rapid is so good. I always say it. That rapid is just too good. Means that after a really rocky and surprising start, the Don't sleep on the Toxic Mist. It creates space. It denies space. It's just annoying to deal with. Jeez, man. They push in so quickly, dude. And they always have, like, if, with that machine, they always have someone someone supporting it, whether it's the Zap or the 52. There's always, like, someone to back them up. Dude, that's rough, man. Here's what it is. Good game. They're trying. At least they're having fun, too, dude. Light work for Phantom Thief. They just At least they're having fun. I mean, uh, it's not like a, a sudden, Australia getting beat and they're like, oh man, we suck. But like, they're having fun with it, too, so. You are looking for any kind of that's good. The vibes, are, the vibes are still vibing. That's exactly, like, that's kind of what you need in those kind of situations, because like, they I mean, they definitely know that Japan's like, soup, like, ridiculously strong in comparison. But like, the, the worst thing, the worst thing in the world is like to get like in a, a bad mental battle when you're going against something like that. You know? And the vibes seem good though, so that's good. And then they waste absolutely no time getting up into the positions that they need to to attack. I blinked and Sanku was at their spawn. What makes Japan look so good? They just have too many players. It's just not fair. They need to bring some of their players over to, to, to here, dude. Just like migrate kind of like, like a few of them. We need to like e we need an even spread, man. It's just not fair. <laughs> That's the only reason. It's not that they play this game a lot. It's just that they got too many people, alright? <laughs> A transfer market for comps would too. <laughs> Can we just transfer a few players here, dude? But it just seems that you saw a little bit more aggression there from the greasy goblins, and they just yeah. On top of that, Splatoon is like one of the, like the most popular like competitive shooting games, or just one of the most popular competitive games within Japan right now. Very very popular. Or, let me rephrase, it's not the so this is just, just so much competition to, to go so against. They'll get paid contracts like and, and play for a certain team, I imagine. The opponent gets you down and then tactical is Dude, have you seen Twi Nintendo Twitch chat? They're so, sus. So, so oh, I'm not really tra tra trying to read that, to be very honest. I have like two streams to run right here. Do you not see this? Twitch stream and YouTube stream? Like, what's going on? I'm already dealing. I'm already dealing with a lot here. I'm dealing with Twitch chat and YouTube chat. Like, come on. <laughs> Dude, 
they get a push, everybody's on the same page. Everybody Your own chat is based when the chat that chat is straight cringe. I mean, you guys are pretty cool. Do, do you think you guys are cool? I'm gonna ask chat. Chat, how how cool do you think my chat is? Special should go or where you should position in the heat of the oh, I think we're 50 50. That's crazy. Actually, no, maybe 70 30. 70 30. YouTube chat hasn't answered yet. Oh, the first YouTube chat just said no. Oh, actually, no, once some said off girls. Okay, no, actually, we'll get some good answers. Okay, no, okay, cool. See, it's good to have confidence. I'm glad you guys are confident in yourself. It never goes away, but these players are able to navigate it nonetheless. We've been calling it for years, and there's even times that we can get lost in all the action. <laughs> Lukewarm the chat. <laughs> Game three, Clam Blitz, Umami Ruins. Okay, all dudes fans are based. I mean, you kind of have to be, because if I don't really, if I have unbased viewers, they are probably banned. That's usually how the case is. But if you're here and you're actually being able to talk in the chat, then consider yourself lucky. We ain't egotistical here. You know, you, that's what I'm saying. My chat is just for the vibes, dude. Fifteen seconds in, neither team really you know, taking strong position. Like I'm 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 a competitive player, have been for a while. But like at the same time it is what it is, you know. You know? Like we can talk super competitively if we really want to. Or we can talk for the vibes. <laughs> It was only the moments when Kaiser went to her. And I know I know what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the vibes. <laughs> with a with a hint of comp with a hint of competitive, you know. It's going to be Ardino that finally goes down and that's going to leave a lot of opportunity here for Phantom Thief. They are going to fill that basket with every clam they can possibly find. So yeah, Japan wins there, by the way. <laughs> That's my competitive outlook right now. Japan wins it. You hate to see that if you're the greasy goblins, because that means this push is only going to get worse. Plenty of time for them to continue to score. He's in slush. That's cool. Kept the basket open for the time being. The greasy goblins have fought all their way out, but Jordan, they haven't cleared enough players. There's still points. And that's the problem. Phantom Thief's just going to run out of clams on the map at this point. That's the only thing that's holding them back. Triple link strike ready to go. Like I don't know. Comes that killer. There's always like a hope where I feel like I really, I mean, I would really love to see Australia come back here. But it looks like the greasy. But the way that Japan is playing against them, it's like completely shutting down absolutely everything that Australia is trying to do. Back to the center of the map because of how long it took them to clear out those players. Now the nice thing is when you come back into the middle of the map, you get to turf and build your special, but taken out by Sanko. And just playing it, they're just playing the game so well, dude. To safely fire and take out that Trizuka. Three minutes left. Phantom Thief, a sizable lead. Power clam that was the quickest two minutes I've ever seen, dude, by the way. So it's like, not a lot happened, but so much happened at the same time. It's the paint control, man, look. Japan takes so much control, like, they're so good at just taking control. Like, they don't leave any spots of enemy ink, even in mid, like, they just, they, they always push with how much control that they have. You know, you'll see a couple grab, but they are grabbing it back from spawn. So the greasy goblins will continue. To well, the only times you find them pushing is when they do have like deep, it's like solid map control. Otherwise, they're, ne they're never really like overheating too much. They're always fighting within what is possible, which is definitely how you should be playing. Like, you need map control to fight and do anything. It gets overlooked sometimes. You can't just like run in, overheat, and die. Left. Yes, there's still plenty of time, mm -hmm. but you get the sense that the greasy goblins would love to get some real mm -hmm. value out of each of their pushes. That crab tank has to rotate all the way back there. Three members mm -hmm. are bunched up. You know at least that Phantom what time is it? Probably it's 8 30, dude. Goblins are. That means they're going to be able to make their attack based on that. Now, the greasy goblins have done a good job of at least moving. How would I take them on, dude? I would win. Forward. But with one zip caster, Sukiyomi has broken that entire momentum. Under 90 seconds left, it's the wipeout, and all of a sudden, Phantom Thief is going to go the... for the KO. They get the win, a 1-2-3 sweep to the finals, <laughs> and all win. of a sudden, they are looking like a dominant force. They have yet to drop a single game.
in this championship nine. And three knockouts. If I was there, I would have won. Certainly living up to the billing of what you would expect the Koshian champion to Don't ask why I'm not there though. Thumbs up. That doesn't need to be answered. Very, very happy with his team's performance as they should be. And for the greasy goblins, a tip of the cap to you, my friends, there. A great fight there. Further than any Australian team has made it. Great job for them for winning the set. You know they're going to use this to try to build and become even stronger in the future. What are they going to do for two hours? Nothing. They're going to get right into the next, the next game, dude. They might take a little bit because Japan just won. But that sets up our finals. You've got Jackpot that had to go to game five, a reverse sweep. Where's Nogami? Before they rattled off three straight victories as they take on... Why isn't, he play? <laughs> Why isn't he playing? Why isn't he playing? Yet to drop a game in this tournament, something will have to give. North He's sleeping. That's kind of based, actually. Japan in our final best of seven, and that's going to change up some of the map and mode rotation. They've got to win four games now, which is a tall task for any of these teams against this talent. So let's take a look at our. Nagami is actually the final boss. Yo, play the boss music right now, dude. Rainmaker at Manta Maria, Splat Zones again at Hammerhead Bridge. All right, a jackpot. Capital. Japan finals. This was expected from the very start. We could have had the Kaiser Japan finals, but it is what it is. But this is the final boss. And Nogami gets no input lag. Oh my god. You have to play against a nimble, flexible, agile Nogami, dude. Can you imagine? At the right time. Splat zones splat I don't think any of us would win. I don't even think I would win that. No, nah, actually, I would. <laughs> I'll find a way. <laughs> game seven. Can we please go to game seven? Please make this a very close game and get it to game seven. Like, what I want to see is one team win three games and then start throwing for the next three, just so we can see the game seven. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I think the real question at this point is really dot Q, right? The winner, the, the, the world champs being decided on a tough war is crazy. That is insane. That's why we need to see it. <laughs> we need that, someone get that script in. Someone like, can we export that script into this in this event right now? Um, and I'm sure that they trust their prep on that side. Something else, though, kind of interesting to note here is that Rauru, right? You saw how strong that sniper rider was yes. in that one there. Also switched over to a rapid blaster as well. So today is the day of rapid blaster pro. <laughs> Someone took no from Squid League. Yeah, <laughs> Did Squid League have a no, game I'm seven tough as well? As they are with it. I'll okay, tell you that but much right now. I'll be the first no, one. fair enough. But that that burst damage type of weapon there that can clear out those towers, of course, is very strong. But what it really changes is this is grand finals. Plays, they have to go back to this is grand finals. Point, and as we've seen. That ends that player could be playing a 52 gal, they yeah. could be playing a Trizuko weapon, so it's an interesting discussion to have. It really is that snow. You got a fun idea. Of <laughs> of oh, let me hear it, Teddy. I'm all Liz. I'm feeling, after this tournament, I'm feeling quite in inspired about the next breeze. And I think we might have to consider some more game five and game seven turfs. Not sure, though. How do you think? Well, absolutely. It's one of those. <laughs> Almost like Feeling quite inspired. We will run the best community tournament, to Steve. You can't react to it. <laughs> Same is true for Trizuka here. You always get one free shot on the opponent where they have no idea that it's oh, coming God. from there. So you kind of wonder if both sides... All right, if there, I swear if there is an announcement, I'm so like I hope there is. ...by the unfortunate shot at the worst possible moment. And nine, it's been a long journey for both teams to get mm. here at this point. Of course, Jackpot, they won the championship in North America almost eight mm. months ago and knew that this was going to be coming. Eventually. Make tough at least best of three. Done in April and four. Yeah, I, I, I would like, I wouldn't mind if it was like a best of three tough, but I can under, the, the thing is about best of three tough is just that it just takes too long. It really just does, it just takes too long, dude. That's probably why they're not doing it right now. It, it takes an like, absurdly long time. It makes the, the sets last, like, I don't know. 
for Splatoon 3. <sighs> Jordan, there's only one first champion. Yeah. Right? There's only Because it's, it's like guaranteed. No what happens for the Because instead of just like one game, which could be max five minutes, World and like, let's say extra minute or two, like setup time, Turf War, you're accounting for three games or, or a six basically one six minute game two things of setup one minute setup one or two minute setup so it could be like 10 minutes for two games or more than that and then a potential third game which is like a whole 15 minutes to just to decide one point of a set you know which is insane you know that's why i just it just it'll just take too long Really, if you take a look at our first four games... But that's, like, the fairest way to do it, dude, so... Starting off Splat Zones, Flounder Heights, that's crazy. I, I think the, the oh god I just saw on Twitter saying someone saying Jackpot did not deserve that win power position, right? it's something that's common across lots of different team games lots of different team shooting games for some of you who may be more familiar with some others but you have to very quickly make do with the information that you have and get to a better position but the thing is they would have said the same thing if Kaiser won as well they would move That's up the to thing. The next spot to play for the next 10 seconds in the game. You Someone would have said the same thing. Like Splatoon, it's simply too quick. It really is, and we've seen how important speed is. In fact, that was something you said that the North American teams learned from some of the Japanese. I'm going to get off Twitter. We I'm not going to look at it again. It's, it's going to go... I, I know it's going to... It's just such an unfortunate way that it's just set up like that. But, you know. Right? When we say improve your movement, it's not like they're tapping a button to move. They very much deserve that win because that's just how the format is. But it, it just sucks that the format is like that. It's, again, that mental side of recognizing I took this player out, now I go here. Or my teammate said there's two players on this side of the map i need go i need to go here it's but please can we get a game seven the tough processing speed that these players have they're working <laughs> with different graphic cards and rams than you and i have <laughs> that's for sure and so we who is going to be the world champs on the cd approach to the stage here in just a moment for the finals this is a moment they of course have all dreamt of ever since they formed these teams what do you mean no i'm here for entertainment could we be entertain me <laughs> Give me seven games, even if it's a game seven tough. Tell yourself that this is something that you want, but until you actually sit in that chair with the stakes right there in the middle of it, how do you best calm yourself and make sure that you're not letting this moment become too big? I'm gonna enter this prediction. I mean, no matter what sport you play, that's the question, yeah. right? I mean, I, I think that Jackpot found their answer to that very quick, which is All right. when greatness is pushed up against the wall. Oh, I can't. That's why can't I enter the prediction? What the peak of it is. That's I mean, I know I have an unlimited the amount of Duke the Flakes. Come but why can't I? Comes this There's is not no fair. No more outthinking yourself at that point. You just act, right? If I ran a tournament, I would I make the, the, the all the competition suffer for entertainment. So Hell yeah, dudes. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the viewers, honestly. Out of all the teams across the world, it comes down to these two and a best of seven. As long as the viewers are like, like what's going on, that's all that matters. 2024, North America versus Japan. All for the title of champion. That's obviously a joke. It's the viewers and the players. The players also got to enjoy what they're doing. all the months of waiting. Oh, who's gonna win the plate? Jackpot, the favorites from North who's gonna America. win the plate? To battle back from down O2, but maybe I can hear the Japanese. Yeah, I can see the Japanese voice over too. Really start to push their buttons. Are they the ones that can claim the first ever championship, a world championship for Splatoon 3, or will it be the home team? That has looked steely. That has looked unbeatable. They haven't dropped a game yet in this tournament. It'll be Phantom Thief of the Heart getting set to take center stage. Phantom Thieves. I don't know who any of these guys are, but they're pretty good. I like that he's using... I like that Raul is using... A rapid. Up there, Sukiyo, we, we know you using the rapid that I, he's using the rapid that I've always said is is underrated, and, and here he is using it in this tournament. It's very nice to see. 
2024 jackpot who had a tumultuous run to get here phantom thief of the heart who's had a perfect run with three knockouts to get to this stage you could not have do this sweating all say dude routes to get to a final in a championship format like this all right it's game time across the grand finals everything you could hope for in a championship four long games of so nerve-wracking i'm fine <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm fine. <laughs> How about you guys? Anyone else nervous? I'm fine. Arguably for the first time since the World Inkling Invitational in 2017. Boy, the world's changed a lot since then. Boy, has it. Or if you are Phantom Thief. I don't even need water. That message to the rest of Japan, teams questioning whether or not you belong, saying maybe you got lucky to get in here. You win a world championship. Nobody has anything they can say to you. No, and it, it's great that you bring those up because for North America, it's a sign that you have finally ascended. <laughs> you use gone already. I don't care anymore. I mean, it's fine. I mean, obviously, I wanted you to win. But even if you won, I would still be fine. <laughs> Yo, put all your points in. You might as well. Is there no third place fight? No, it'll take too long. No one would care anyway. That's a joke. People would care. Jackpot looking nervous and JP looking cool. You know who's not nervous? Me. I'm not nervous watching this game. <laughs> I'm probably the most calm and collected here. What is Dot Q going to use? As Sniper Rider, they were undefeated when she chose that. However, when she started to drift away from your tried and true weapon is, that's when they dropped their first two games against Kaiser. And again, that's nothing against Kaiser. Kaiser is a very talented team. And that How early did I wake up for this? 5.30, dude. That came close to taking a game. That time does not exist for me, dude. Unless I can play like Lethal Company or something. And right now, I'm not playing Lethal Company. So I don't know what's going on. We'll get an idea of pretty, pretty quickly. Because I think every Splat Zones map that comes out, you're going to see her switch back to that. And I would wager Clam Blitz as well. The question is going to be... I don't think I've ever said a sentence to where my reaction wouldn't be. Yeah, no, that's just how... It's just how I communicate. It's just how. Who am I rooting for? Nogami. Jordan, as you noted, you're going to have to play each mode a couple of times. I want Nogami to come on stage. <laughs> I want Nogami to play the game. No, whoever wins, I I don't know. Whoever I was rooting for EU. Whoever wins here, because clearly I I'm not rooting for any of these. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not I'm not trying to be rude. I just wasn't rooting for NA or Japan. You know, I wanted EU to win, so. You know, but whoever wins here, it'll be cool to see. It'll be interesting to see how J uh, Jackpot fares against uh, this team. Because I don't know how well they'll fare, to be very honest. It's just really interesting to see how they play. I just want to see some good Splatoon, really. So, let's just see what happens. Ready? Go! As we get started here, Madness has oh, nine almost got me there. Jared I was just like, why is? <laughs> Did we just get? <laughs> I thought the Japanese commentator is like, got us there, dude. Jackpot go down as Phantom Thief quickly getting on the tower, and they'll make the first push at this moment. As Jackpot down, they go in their spawn. Living at their spawn was a member of Phantom Thief, and that's gonna buy them some precious time. To get to the first Let's go, Rapids. It's 20 just 20 so seconds. good. That's how long it took them to get into their spawn. Unbelievable the way Tsukuyomi moved forward on that time. Sanku has already taken another one out. Jackpot sent two members at the start of the game to try to attack. And this is a little all bit of a whiffage there, but it's all good. That. They've already moved over here to this next checkpoint, Jordan. They are how do you defend this, Jackpot? Maybe is the only person who can work on the tower from a melee I think he's range blast, Not like yeah. this Oh, nice one. No. All right, good they kills. The checkpoint good kills. There you go. What an explosive start to this game. And if you're Jackpot. Have a good one, Cosmos. Still on. Phantom Thief, nearly a KO that kept Jackpot locked out for a moment. But now here comes Jackpot's opportunity. Good wipeout. If they've got three specials ready to roll, they are just trying to get on the board. They finally get to the first checkpoint. They are coolered up, but again, another splat on the other side by Zukiyomi. Okay. And he's going to give 
a three, three the three of us the two? And the nice I think Japan wins this, though. Is this is a map yeah, Ryan Japan's going to win this you fight. Get your chance to throw your punch back at the opponent. So as long as Jackpot is slow and steady and doesn't give up the knockout here, they're going to get a chance. But right now, they just don't seem to have any answers for this Phantom Thief squad. You saw three members go down for Jackpot, and here is Phantom hmm. Thief already setting the table. Zipcaster Japan is old. Oh, that was a good now suction bomb. Go to the suction bomb. That'll take out two members now. Of Unlucky. Thief. And again, I know I use the expression fall on a bomb a lot here, but you can see just how much that changes things there. Where Sukuyomi goes down there to that small little accidental play in the hole. Can Japan not perfect sweep for one? I really don't want to see a, like a full sweep, dude. Here, so Jackpot's very much capable to, to hang, though. It really can. Under three minutes left. Oh, that's a big pick there for Jackpot. They take out two members. Towers moving forward. They've got the first checkpoint out of the way. This is a chance. I'm just a little concerned about that pain, top, but uh, it should be fine. Down, They're doing Zaku pretty good. Well. Oh, this is a good yeah, pitch for Jackpot. Okay. Three down now, and the last one simply has good to stuff. jump out. Now they're going to have that checkpoint there that they can use, you use a zip the defensive here. side. But Jackpot just brought out the tactic cooler at the perfect time. That's a good tactic cooler. All the way ahead there. It's a very good tactic cooler. They're fighting really well too. By enough time, they're in checkpoint two. They take the lead. There you go, good lead. back the lead. They are threatening. They're still fighting it. But then they're stopped in their tracks down go three members jackpot they have an opportunity here it is just Sanku oh they've woken up line. now 100 no, they've got to spawn back to phantom thief it's jackpot putting all the pressure here down the stretch crab take up top is jackpot gonna not get bad knockout? dude yes, good stuff in game one i told you you get your opportunity on this map you simply have good stuff the they're challenging it we got a game a here chance. Oh, Jordan, once they got that tacticaler up right in the middle of that push as they were approaching it, that's when you knew they were going to be able to attack and they were eventually going to overpower. It's not over yet, though. Outscale. And nine. Just got to keep the vibes up. That's the most important thing. They can be splatted. That's the first game. Because the moment they lose one, entire tournament, if they lose the sudden, one, that can make things bad. But hopefully they don't lose. All right. It like it Just keep your vibes up. Thieves. Keep these vibes up, and then they'll win. Hundred percent. As far to twenty in their initial push, but then all of a sudden, jackpot. Then <laughs> the ninety degree camera angle. Yeah, I know. I don't know who's on the camera. I'm just letting you them letting you know if I was on the camera, I would not be doing ninety degrees. I would at least be doing 180. All right. Because if I did, if if we did 180 and a 180 degree camera, a little bit of camera work, more people would talk about it. All right. You really hope that it doesn't get to that point, but that's Brinewater Tower Control in a nutshell. And I said that Twitch pillow. This is a Twitch pillow, yeah. It was just on my chair. I'm just holding it, so. <laughs> as familiar with, or maybe that just aren't good for them to be in. So Jackpot, as mm -hmm. ugly as it got there at the I unfortunately don't have a YouTube pillow, which I feel like I need just to bounce it out. Still alive. Let's just keep going. Once we get our turn, we think that we can attack better. Here are some of the highlights, and for a moment it felt like Phantom Thief was going to stop. If Japan wins one Jackpot game, everything will go downhill. Right here, but see, I think Japan, I've seen it with like so many Japanese teams that they're, they're, they're very, very good at staying composed. Like, I feel like this Grand Finals is going to come down to who's got better composure. Or who's got their vibes up and who's got the best composure. Because either team is going to win either game. Like, I don't even know who's, like, who will win, but... We'll that see. Sets the stage for splat zones at Flounder Heights coming up next year, and not only was it a win nine, it was a knockout. Mm -hmm. And I go back to the emotion; it, it's a real thing. As Kaiser was talking a lot of mess over the first two games, that awoken something in Jackpot, a ferocity that we haven't seen in them in a long time, and I think it exuded itself in that second half of the game. I, mean, I what do you mean? Don't let it come down to Game Seven tough. We're on the way there already. I mean, at the very beginning, Stone Cold with absolutely nothing that they could possibly. We're on the way. In that previous set, at that point, you just hope that you get a game and that you get to have a conversation with the opponent. Then you come all the way back and say whatever you want. You take the big shot from the opponent at the start. <laughs> what if I won Game Seven tough? I do want Game Seven tough. <laughs> 
I won it. I won it to half with it. <laughs> Come on. So far, and there's still so much left to play. As we said, coming up next, Splat Zones, Flounder Heights. You said this is one of those big snowballing Splat Zones games where if you go ahead and get the zone first, you have a chance to really just run away with it. Well, it's just so hard to get back to the zone, and there are two zones. One of the few two-zone maps here in Splatoon 3. They're far apart, and it's hard to get back to it if you... Oh, I have to close the prediction? That very first engagement, the teams might be a little bit... How the heck do I do that? Can a mod do that? ...make the big mistake because... If you get pushed back and the opponent swims underneath your side, you can lose a game in a hurry. Kind of like we saw in that tower. Look, yeah. Game, Jordan, I didn't stop for this prediction. Oh, okay. Mods already did that. Okay, cool. No matter how the opening looks. <laughs> I, def I definitely didn't do that. Time to get their loadouts all set because as we said before, this is mm -hmm. a typical combination. Splat zones on Flounder Heights. You're here for the game 7 tough? Thank you. Nice to see nice to see you have. We do not allow game 7 tough in this household. Maybe I don't allow you yeah, in this household. How about that? Question that people have to ask when they come into this is do we go a little longer range? What do we switch some of our weapons over to here? Do we play some more burst damage type of This is my house. <laughs> There's so many interesting answers on this map because of not only the range but the verticality. You need weapons that can poke the low ground, but you also need weapons that have a little range in order to counteract that. Here we go. Okay. So it's, don't worry, it's all vibes. It's, it's all good. We're just we're just having a good time here. We're just watching some good Splatoon. Oh, a wiper! All right. Flounder Heights. Let's go. Heavy edit. The comps are so different. Oh my god, we do have a dynamo. We do have a dynamo. Wait. Wait, it was the same guy. Wait, we do have a dynamo. Super, come back. I allow you back in the household. There is a dino in the game. <laughs> okay, I did not see this coming. Neither team has been able to wrestle too much of the zone and early two point lead for jackpot four three advantage. Is this Splatoon one? I mean, we are playing a Splatoon one map. This is such an interesting combination of zones to wrestle for. There's so many reflux as well. Yeah, different angles. Wow, this comp is weird. But it all kind of conjugates here, and two people. This is an interesting comp. They could have both been taken out there. One of them managed to get away. I believe it was Sukuyomi, but that could have been the start of the snowball that gets away. Instead, now we've got a really interesting situation. I don't. I don't even know how this works, to be honest. Look at a lockout on this side, Jordan, and this is where it gets scary. One has already gone down for them, and the others are pushed back. Yeah, madness goes down. However, the score continues to move in the favor of Jackpot. That is ticking down. Leafy trying to chase. Down Tsukiyomi. That stamper is going to keep Tsukiyomi down there for just a little bit longer. Ooh. Oh, up and gets the splatter. Imagine he hit, yeah, they hit with the hammer as well. A little bit too long in that position, and that is going to be a okay. wipe out there. Oh, wow. Wow, they turned that around okay. quickly there. Okay. So we just look at, let me look at this comp. So you have missiles for, have missiles because Flounder. Okay, I can understand that. You have Ultra Stamps, Wiper. Okay, that fights. Slosher fights. And then Dino, I guess Dino can kind of fight and that's tap cool. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it does make sense in a way. Maybe it does. At least for this, at least specifically for this map. I can, maybe I can see it. But it's just going to be really difficult to deal with like any sort of shooter. But the reflex allows entry. And then they got strikes. Okay, maybe it's not so bad. Let me think about it. Have a good one, Zuck. But Tsukiyomi shut the door on that. And now they've got the lead. They're chop chopping into their penalty. And they're looking to get the lockout as all four members congregate towards the top of that ramp. Oh, man. Hey, man, you know what? I hope Japan wins this game. Just so that there is opportunity for other comps that can also be played, you know? At least with, like, a map like this. Picks him off. Dot Q dodging and weaving. That's a critical splat as Jackpot able to hang on to control of one of the zones, but there is Phantom Thief already trying to ink the other one. That'll take the other zone, hold things at a pause for a moment. And now both teams trying to reset their approaches here with 
Three members on the board for Phantom Thief, four for Jackpot. It's going back and forth at this moment. Yeah, but I think that that's about to It's just fighting is a little rough, I feel. Toya is forced all the way back there. That Maybe. reflex is not going to be able to hold back these main weapons. And this is the dangerous spot here. Matt is swimming forward. Dot Q turfing forward to allow for that approach Ooh, here. Oh, that's... Oh, unlucky. Oh, the it's dynamo. Here, here it comes. Anybody. They will take the lead, but there was a lot more on the table for that. Right now, Fantasy has missile a here, yep. opportunity to push back in. Would love to the screen. Here, but the screen is so down. annoying. That's their main attacker on that side, Jordan. You have to go through that. Saw yep. the splatter color screen providing a little bit of support. Here comes a curling bomb as well, too, just to try to get the zone here. Over a minute left. Oh, dude. Advantage for Jackpot. Now, all of a sudden, Phantom Good play from Q, though. Control, but they've lost two members here, Nine. And they really don't have a great way to get rid of Dot Q on that heavy edit splatling. She is sitting back there and simply turfing this side. You see that Sanku just has to... Only a minute left, too, dude. ...in order to put any sort of damage on that side. Now, if you're Jackpot, you just want to focus on covering your zone. You don't need to really take... Can you imagine competitive Splatoon in the Olympics? No. no. That's why Dot Q hasn't done it. Now, if something does go down there, I think Toye must have hit one shot with that reflex to take that player out finally they have fought their way through but they're taking a lot of damage in doing it Sugiyomi does get the revenge shot there on that side Jordan these points are going to start flying up the board jackpot is going to have plenty of time watch for them to build as many specials as possible and slowly try to they win here because they go strikes they're just seven seconds oh away but Jared all of a sudden Jared's able to get up there oh never mind Dino cleared that was huge However, now that would have been a really good play from Jared, Phantom though. With okay, nice. Jared took an awful long time getting back and then they don't have strikes anymore. All right. They just need to hold their zone in a good. Go the neutralize to get into overtime. Oh, they still got a zone, yeah. Okay, Japan wins this one. Still pandemonium on the zone, but with one second All right. Phantom we got a game here, guys. We got a set. The unorthodox comp. And you see some comp that we I've never seen before, personally. I'm so glad that it, I'm so glad it won. Just so everyone would shut up about. Only having to use like certain weapons, so. <laughs> Super in the YouTube chat, you must be like bouncing off all the walls now because you got your Dynamo game. One one between these two You're like bouncing off all the walls. You're like beam, 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 beam. <laughs> making those cartoon noises like that allowed Phantom Thief to come in there and get their big push. But down the stretch nine, what happened with Jackpot? It felt like all they had to do was focus on their zone. However, they just got disheveled. I mean, easier said than done, right? When you have Dot Q up in that position on that top. That's so cool, dude. You can see how easy it's 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 creative though. It's very creative. I, I can see how it works. It's like it's like the reflex is is just like instant entry because ten of missiles. Raul, though, turned around just in and then Sosha fights. Gone down for them there. So meeting threats um, wiper fights here. Still get it done on certain map mode. Like the range for, the, for wiper is actually pretty decent here. And Dymo fights pretty well as well here because of its flick. And I still want the Dymo to be buffed and paint more and all that. But I mean, that was really well played by Japan. <laughs> Dynamo is meta now. All right, relax. It's just for this map. There's no way they'll bring it again, right? <laughs> there's no, there's just no way they bring it back again. Okay, everyone, calm down. There's no way they'll bring the Dynamo again. That's the only game we're gonna see Dynamo roller. Dynamo nerf in the next match. <laughs> Whenever Dynamo ever plays Flounder, it gets roller range, regular roller range. We've now seen that in both games, Jordan, where one team goes out to the opening lead, they look strong, the other team fights their way back. Great resilience. All I know is we would love to see seven games. That's for sure. Jordan knows. I would love to see seven games as well. Can we please see seven games, dude? <laughs> That's the the thing I have noticed thus far. And any time you have a messy map mode combination with two teams that like to fight, I hope we see seven games. Going to be very difficult for anybody. I hope we see seven team. games. And you can also bet that it's going to create some <laughs> real fireworks here. But something specifically about the clan boats variation. They can hear me. Maybe they're watching my stream. <laughs> Imagine. 
<laughs> He's got a little, like... <laughs> Yo, are you guys watching my... Oh, I don't even know. For, maybe not. Who knows, dude? Concept there because we've seen the last couple of clan blitz opportunities. It's taken a while for teams to get back. All right, let's see what happens here, dude. Try and have that response when they get their own power clam. So, this is going to be one of those electric matchups that you that a razor headset, in the middle, but they've taken the branding off. Phantom Thief of the Heart. What we've seen from them so far is just the ability their pushes are so strong, especially at the tail end of that game. The first game, as well, too, at the beginning. This is a team that mm -hmm. will try to go for hey, the knockout punch when they get Way too up. early. No, it's... it's very, very careful. You are I got up way too early. I got up at 5.30. It's like, an, like a, an, a really an absurd time for me. I wasn't happy about it. But now I'm happy now, because now it's like 9 o'clock. So things actually make sense in the world again. That's what is really interesting at this top level is, okay, we all know the conventional stuff. We Bro was shaking his bottle. On the map oh. Now what do you do with that information? What angles do you take into fights to throw off where your opponent's coming from? And there's been some great creativity good banana. teams thus far. There's the bell. That's the chime. It means it's time for game three of our finals. This title. All right. We want a piece, Clam Blitz, We're getting closer Martin. and closer to the game the seven tough one, guys. Tub. We'll find out as we get a chance to take our first glimpse. At the All right, no more Dynamo, but 52 Gal. So they got 52 Gal and Sasha to fight. And then they got Zap for defense. They got, well, not defense, support. And they got Rapid for anchor defense. This is Clams as well. Interesting. On the other side, though, Sukiyomi has switched. And then uh, Jackpot's got 10 Zuka. Crab. They have Slusher and Thing to fight. Tent to support. So they got like double support, but Tent can kind of fight. Interesting. It's not going to be the biggest push. Yeah, Jackpot wins this fight here. Pretty sure. This map can be. Yeah, they get two splats though, and the timer expires. They're gonna get a power clam. Three splats. All the of rapid. a sudden, they try to give themselves an opportunity to take the momentum with the free power clam that'll drop. Yep, and they actually. Tent's gonna struggle to rapid. But Jared, that there. flank though, okay. Be able to score one power clam That's a good flank. Sukiyomi dives way down. That's a very dangerous spot to be in. Yeah, Sukiyomi goes down there. There should be tons of points being scored on this side. Leafy is now back behind them there. The threat is coming from both sides. And Sanku does win the fight with Madness to at least get rid of some of the clutter in the middle of the map. It'll be a clean up here for Phantom Thief. But again, Jordan, think of how long it took us to get our first Why did he pick Tenebrello? <laughs> On this map, it makes sense. It goes by quickly for sure. So Plus, it's, it's Clam Blitz as well, so. Tenebrello is just kind of that weapon where it's just like, you shoot down. the shield out. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a splatter color screen, but like, it, all the time. In a way. Yep, they just kind of creates space there, for you, but also a very sm like a much smaller to go scale. And attack the crab alongside that killer whale 5.1. They got taken out. Jackpot's defense is a little too strong. They're oh, really they die there. Oh, that 52 is gonna get kills. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Any sort I think that was a pretty down, good joke from me. I'm not gonna lie. Emerge over one every time. Sukiyomi goes down, and that was a huge pickoff. And all of a sudden, Jackpot building a good strikes to hold. Triple strike comes in. That's gonna try and open things up. Couple more clams coming in. Lee Another is kill. Fit one in as well too. That builds up. Japan answers back. But Jared's still in that swarm, dude. That's just gonna be annoying. Honestly, if he just survives, okay, never mind. He jumped out. That's good. Oh, she he jumped back to their teammate to crab tank, and now they're fighting again. That's a that's huge. But Japan has somehow won this fight. How does that make sense? Closing that out there needs to find Jared and does should now have a good opportunity to move Dot Q off of that power position as well. There's still plenty. Wait, Japan not playing as fast as anymore. Will even this out, but Sukuyomi goes down once again. He's Maybe they're just adapting to the situation. Who knows? And you see Phantom Thief having to retreat just a little bit. Araru trying to move forward. Toya now with the power clam, and they've got plenty of currency mm. on their side. 16 total clams. Good kill. Down goes another member. And all of a sudden, you've got to give Jackpot credit for Ooh, trying to lock out Phantom Thief. Japan but then can score a lot here. They're going to score a lot of... Oh, never mind. No lead, though. No way. No way, Raul. What did you eat this morning? Wait, it's not the morning now. 
and it's Madness now gives up his position there to try to fight it out with Sanku. That's a big, big bit of the lead that has been pulled back there. One power clam, now two power clams will take the lead back for Phantom Thief, but it's going to be Jackpot's turn before we get to that. You see the Tenta Brola going up Ooh, against the this is a push. trying to march forward. Jackpot they could definitely push this. A of a lane for themselves yep, here, here it is. Five. And here oh, comes and the a 10. Nice. The power they get it in. And now oh, you see that jump right into the screen? To add to this lead. There they go into the penalty, down to 24. And an effective oh, push. two oh, clams. Four. They get another power clam in. A chance for a KO. Can they get a it in left. with the crab? Jared, being Jared has to stay alive here. Get it in time. That's if he gets any more door. kills, oh, never mind, he does. All the way to four. And now it completely if he got any more kills there, or just like stayed alive, just so Japan has to look at them, then that would have been huge. So for Phantom Thief, you almost have to look at this as a two push proposition or one really long, perfect push where you keep Jackpot hen back into their own side. And that's a very, very difficult thing to do. It starts by taking this. Oh my god, your heart just stopped. Almost just stopped. One player they've gotten down Any doctors in chat? Yeah. Built themselves up a nice Sold that guy out on this side. Sugiyomi goes and fights forward, but Jordan, they don't have the power claim yet. There's not enough follow up there. They do get that first one, but with two members going down here, it just wasn't connected enough. And they had to use all of their specials. So, how about the defensive standby jackpot under 20 seconds left? They've got the lead. They're trying to close the lid on this <laughs> the battle basket. and pull up 2-1. Power Clam in possession of Phantom Thief. Just trying to avoid that triple ink strike. Eight seconds. Yeah, someone call an ambulance or something. One -on one's taking place here. <laughs> They're going to retreat. Is Jackpot and just fortify the defense. One second left. Okay, Jackpot wins this game. Overtime. Phantom I can't see them. Have 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 I can't see them losing this one. Here well Jack played, though, honestly. To hold on. They're gonna have to find yeah, it's overtime, but I don't think Japan's going to be able to push this. this one in, definitely not now. Definitely not now. Yeah, 100%. But it's taking too long, and the members of Jackpot will rotate over to close it out. A couple more ticks, and Jackpot takes game two. All right, game Jackpot three. With that push where they got two power clams in to build the lead four to four. An ambulance just drove by. That was the difference. Oh, did they miss their stop? <laughs> Moves to a 2 1 advantage, <laughs> taking care of business on Calamblitz. I'm pretty sure Alex is dead now. <laughs> At this point. Man, that was just body blow after body blow. Both teams throwing it back and forth there, but we said that could get a little bit messy on that map mode. Mako Mart is known for that exact scenario occurring over and over and over again, but. For jackpot there, their coordination All right, we're getting closer and closer. Another game closer to the game five, seven tough. We're getting ever so close, dude. Come on. What's the next game type? It's tower. It has to be like tower control, right? I thought Jared was exceptional in this game. Jared's ability to get behind the defense and to force a lot of situations that made. We're almost there, dude. Well, if I may, Jordan. Earlier, when I said Doc Q needs to be the provider of their We're so goals, close. This is what I wanted to see. I have tremendous respect for what Jared is able to do in all of his weapons, getting behind opponents, being slippery, winning these fights, and that's only possible when he's allowed to play some of these other weapons here. Great stuff here from the members of Jackpot. Yeah, it really had Phantom Thief out of sorts early on, and that's why Jackpot was able to take the offensive and then. We saw them build this big lead, and it was too little, too late. Not enough clams on the field for Phantom Thief. And then when you get into scramble desperation mode... That was a good match. Go that was a very good match. Oh, you just woke up? Them. Man, you've missed so much. You've missed a lot. As well too. Thief never Where were you? Why were you sleeping? No, and when you get behind you've missed so much Splatoon. You have to play Am I happy? As well, right? Pretty okay. You heard me Probably more hungry than happy, though. And the reason why we use that two power clam metric is because that's really the limit of you can need to eat something, but I can't leave because I have to watch this game, dude. And steal the lead back for yourself. Once you get beyond that point, though, it has to be either a really, really long push or three power clams. And some of you at home may have noticed it's not easy to build three power clams no. at this level, much Need less snacks. Four, three of them. So that's not really on the table. The only other option. Is getting everybody I haven't eaten yet. Not yet. There's no time. There's platoons to be watched. It's evening in Australia. That's kind of crazy. Well, this is a map where the final 30, 35 ish, 40 points. Alright, do you think, uh, you think, do you think I'll have time to get some cereal? Like, when the next game, the next game starts? 
or after next game because this intermission is taking a long time if I run if I run really fast I'll do it. I'm not like when when the next when this game when this game finishes the game that we're watching right now it finishes I'll run really fast and get some like Cheerios or something Alright, cool. Got to win I bet you it'll take me like two and a half minutes to make. Because we definitely make, had two and a half minutes here. So. Be fast? Alright, no worries. I got you. I can be fast. Alright, cool. Rainmaker, dude. I'm interested to see what happens here, dude. Japan seems to like use a different comp for like every map. I may have just cursed this game with the way that these teams are attacking, but I hope we'll get to see a lengthy Rainmaker game here. And a lot of these games have been back and forth, pushes from both teams, and you've been impressed with the way that each team has shown a different kind of result. They might get down, but then they scramble. Yeah, dude, he's so, yeah, I do. That's the thing. I'm accounting for the time where I have to put the milk inside the microwave. For uh, my milk to be warmed up so I can put it in my cereal. For Cheerios, it takes like two minutes though. It's not really, it's not the hottest, but, you know, it's decent, it's decent heatage, you know. <laughs> I forgot I was a freak. Excuse me, I am not a freak. <laughs> No surprises here from the side of Jackpot. <laughs> On this side, it does appear Sukiyomi has gone back over to the Stamper here. The Not warm, hot. Stamper, an interesting choice. Big difference. Titanic game hot milk. Four on Manta Maria. Here we It'll go. be warm Jackpot if I put it in the, the microwave for like a minute. Later. That's like, ugh, okay. Tied up and forced at least a game six. Both teams fighting in the middle, and this is essentially here nine, the early part oh, of the This is a classic comp. Well, crab Tank, Crab Tank, Zuka, Vacuum, Zap. Okay. Jackpot's got so much control. Jackpot's got the way more offensive comp here, though, too. It's like all their weapons can, like, get into a fight. Now stuck in an awkward position, but once again, Jordan. But not like a long range fight. That might be awkward. Depends. Right just depends on how no Japan plays it. There, but man, this guy is so good at hitting these awkward spots. Now you're looking that way. The Trizuka comes out. They're dangerously close to once again getting through this first checkpoint after this jump. And they're trying to go through that jump, which is one of those shortcuts. But all of a sudden, the Toxic Mist will snuff that out for a moment. So Jackpot's gonna have to rethink their strategy. Sounds like they might let that Rainmaker respawn. Hot milk on top is. Fine. Look you agree? Thank you. Appreciate it. So much of this I'm glad you understand. Yeah, that's the one thing that's frustrating when the Rainmaker is in that spot. Yes, you can defend it, but you always have to have something at least looking on that side. Oh, that's a... Oh, that this is oh, such good flat. picks. Oh, my God. Almost an unbelievable turn of oh, you, how about good the try. And disruption we just saw. Those oh, picks were really good. That long. That's the best case scenario that you're hoping for there. And now with Jared over there, they are going to be able to move for it, and they do get through that first checkpoint. They got the first checkpoint. We know how getting to that first checkpoint early changes the entire oh, dynamic. Oh no, and another dude! One goes down. Leapy is going crazy this game. And you see Sukiyomi go down by the Rainmaker at that first checkpoint. That's a sizable lead for Jackpot. And now they can really focus their defensive efforts if they need to. But they would love to move it a little bit further. And now Sukiyomi up top trying to jump down low. Feeling pressure from all the angles. Avoids getting splatted. Oh. Goes after the Zipcaster and the Booyah Bomb that comes out. However, oh, the white from Japan, and they got the Rainmaker, so they can run it straight away. They've Three taken the long way, though. Like, oh wait, they're going right. Never mind. I think that makes sense. And you don't give up a single point beyond oh, the checkpoint. They played that well. The checkpoint on the other side. Oh my goodness, Phantom Thief! What more do you have? Oh, that's a good pick. Jared, they should get the pop here, they gotta wait. What they gotta be careful, of Leafy, though. By Phantom Thief, they were on the. Chip. Play, Jackpot's playing it well too. All of a sudden, now they're knocking on the door to try and take the lead. However, they're TV two. One. They've got to pop this. Got people. Japan just needs to wait for jumps. Going to reset an advantage still for Jackpot. They're going back and forth trying to pop this Rainmaker shield. You want to be careful. Can a member get on there and advance the lead right up top? 
No oh, luck with that good fight. Oh, they take out Radu. That was massive. And down goes Sanku. Oh, man. And I wondered what they were going to try to do in order to take Good that fight. Oh, my God. Goes down. I mean, this is getting a little overzealous with these jump-ins there. You're going to give up points here. You don't have your checkpoint at this point. You're going to let Jackpot go way too far forward here. Jordan, the points are going to start oh, to fall Oh, that's so many here. points and for I Jackpot. I have to wonder if Phantom Thief shouldn't have done those jumps there, not sensing the moment. How for Raymaker, that comp is just so much better, I feel, though. points on this side. Still people fighting down to seven nine you got the sense that phantom thief saw they were trailing by one they were just trying to do anything they could to advance that rainmaker and take back the lead but in doing so how badly did they expose themselves i mean jackpot looked really good though this is what it looks like. in comparison to this team just a little bit too long you give your opponent one opening they're going to be able to get a lot of points very they look really quickly. really good and even now you see sukiyomi backs up there not sure if one more member of jackpot is waiting by the rainmaker to maybe steal one or two more points and just take the game they are going to need to touch the pedestal here the bottom part of it is fine they don't have to knock it out but that's how close they're going to have to get if they want to take this game back if you're jackpot one minute they left. go control again, dude. Oh wait, no, Japan's got control. Time left on the clock, but you just gotta oh. be careful not to make that. Oh, you're gonna see the 52 though. They come sneaking through. Rainmaker still in oh, God, oh, but the splat for Japan's getting the desperate, map. dude. They're kind of like forcing it. Yep, and the worst part is you get nothing for getting to 37 oh. there. That they're just gonna keep. They're gonna. Oh, I think Jackpot's. I think Jackpot's already on this game, dude. Because they're just gonna wait. Oh, that's such a good shark, dude. Oh, I didn't. I mean, on unfortunate RNG. Oh, you got the killer. Yeah, Jackpot's already on this game for sure. Clean that up. Unless they lose this, yeah, they won the and game. And it's another wipeout. Twenty seconds left, Jordan. They're gonna move forward here, and I don't even know how Phantom Thief's gonna get into the center of the map. There's Jared no way they win this. All, over the all right. Place, creating havoc for Jackpot. Ten seconds all right. left. They've got to just try to hang. I'm going to make cereal, guys. Organize one more. Push. The game's still no, going. They are just out all right. And cornering Three, two, Phantom one. Thief. Jackpot. They Go. sense it. Yes. Jackpot picks up the third game. And now they lead 3-1 in the best of seven, just one game away from the championship. And Jackpot has now taken three straight off of Phantom Thief. And you've gone through all four modes to get here, too. There are no more questions to be answered about if you prepped properly for the modes. Jackpot, they can sense it in this moment. And I, I want to again point out there that I don't think the game needed to be in... I don't think the game needed to be that dominant for Jackpot. It nope. was that one mistake where they put all their eggs in one basket to take that one point, and, you know, we caught it right here, came in here with the ink back to try to make it happen, super jumped everybody on that side, and it opened up everything from there. And I really think, Nine, when you see the one-point differential and just the thought of if we can just get the lead, all of a sudden we can play defense. I think Phantom Thief just panicked a little bit and overextended themselves and didn't think about how much time was still remaining because to your point, they don't jump in and they're able to stop this push from Jackpot. It's a completely different game the final two minutes. Sure, and again, look at it right here. It drops down here on this point. It gets to 22, but once to that point, it's in the danger zone. One pop is gonna clear out a couple players and it, it just gets away from you at that side and it is all because they super jumped there in that side. and. Listen, I know you're trying to keep the pressure up. It's impossible to know how bad that's going to go from you in the heat of the moment. Right, I'm doing really well here, guys. I have like, mistakes that we've seen from the, Phantom the milk is in the microwave. There's like 40 more seconds. All right. Correction, not three in a row over Phantom Thief, but three out of the last four mm -hmm. for Jackpot after taking game one, nearly one game two. And so Phantom Thief came into these finals nine. They hadn't dropped a game yet. All right, Phantom Thieves need to win two more games, down, and then we get the game seven tough by the way. All right, uh, the I go back to the microwave. It felt like of turf war as well too in game five. They are standing on the precipice of a world championship. They're gonna have three opportunities to try and close it out. Oh, and you've given yourself the best chance to do so. Now, once again, we're gonna see a run through of the modes. These maps have all been predetermined. They've been set. No surprises at this point. We will only go to Turf War if it gets all the way to Game 7, but they're going to get another chance on Tower Control that they won on. They're going to get another Flat chance zones. on Splat Zones, which even though they lost on, I know Jackpot feels comfortable there. So we're going to start here, though, Jordan, on another really interesting map mode. Splat Zones, Hammerhead Bridge. 
And a reminder, Splat Zones was game two on Flounder Heights, and that is the game that Phantom Thief of the Heart took off of Jackpot. And so both teams... All right, I got, some, I got my Cheerios here, guys. Hammerhead Bridge, I'm here. Flounder Heights. No, yeah, it is dude. not. This is... Sometimes we don't even really be out here, but we out here. Oh, just in time. Just in time. You've got a couple choke points that you are going to have to push all the way Just in time. I got my cereal, guys. I got my cereal. But if you can fight it through, you are rewarded with swaths of incredible inkage that you can then work through and attack the opponents, whereas they're not in a great spot to defend. So Hammerhead Bridge, a very interesting map to see in this position. Crab Tank mm. was dominant here. And this is one of the few maps, Jordan, that you'll still mm. see some teams bring to Milk. Crab Tank's That's team hot. party. <laughs> At this point, though, I almost wonder if Jackpot has found their special sauce and isn't going to try to deviate too much. I would expect to see Jared, if any of them play a Crab Tank weapon, maybe go back over to those Splat Dooleys. That's a great weapon that's been providing it for them. Leafy's weapon, I think, will be the interesting one to note here. She's been rotating around. It doesn't get soggy at all. I need, at least this all cereal doesn't. Are conventionally strong ones, so it's like a lot of crunch stuff. Found on that side. Could this potentially be the final match of the Splatoon 3 World Championship 2024? Phantom Thief down 3-1. Splat zones, then tower control. You imagine if you're Phantom Thief. You're gonna feel Someone used Roller. If you can get to that Someone did use Roller. Four. And if you are Jackpot, you really get the sense these are our next two best opportunities. We don't even want to get to Tower Control. Sure. We want to end it right here. Splat Zones, Hammerhead Bridge, Jackpot, one game away. Is this their opportunity to claim the championship? They are locked and loaded. Phantom Thief, one this last is gonna chance be an interesting to game. stay alive. Let's go. Interesting to note here, Jordan, Raudu is not going back over to that Snipe Rider 5H. Instead, it's going to once again be that Rapid Blaster Pro. So they're mm. going to have to do it with some burst damage there. Leafy charging right forward there, is happy to take a couple of shots. Jackpot all around them right now has surrounded them. Jackpot in control and is pushing forward already, Jordan. They sense the moment. Jackpot doesn't want to leave it to chance. They're moving oh. forward. They've got a 20 point lead. Don't in this moment. Good, Zip good Caster, jump out. They're going to retreat jump and try out, to actually. fortify their defensive efforts as that ink back moves. Kind of wasted that back. All of a sudden, too. Phantom Thief has wrestled away control of the zone. They took a couple members out there because they need a lot more sustained of an attack there, and they're going to need to do it cleanly. They got rid of Leafy there early on, so they should be in an okay position here. But I'm going to again continue to point out that Sniper Rider is going to be so difficult to turf over there while they're also trying to fight. Bit of a scramble near the zone. It is going to be a shift of the lead, but with their two fighting members down here, it should be Jackpot moving forward. And they chase down mm. Ranu, but then down goes another member of Jackpot. As Sanku gets the splat, and they're all over at nine. Phantom Thief so far showing a lot of offensive prowess midway through this. Yes, and Jared landed and barely got away right there. It was almost a reverse situation where Come on, Japan. Jackpot jumped into a bad spot. A missed Game seven tough all the way. For Sanku, Jared, who has gotten away with just horrible deeds a couple of times here getting out of these positions that you should not be able to and jackpot will once again get the benefit jackpot's got control of the zone they're chopping into that penalty two members of phantom thief is down there oh jackpot's forward, looking good and yeah. all of a sudden you see Don oh, Q advancing never mind. with that snipe rider just trying to provide a little bit more support on the other side they claim the lead does jackpot and they continue to build upon it as they have locked phantom thief out but that ink back is all of a sudden mm. gonna pause it for a moment not long enough jackpot marching forwards the one resource they have is sukiyomi did get behind them there but he's going to get taken down before he can use that zip they just need a hole and not get picked and they so win so close to going the distance right now all the way pushed back here are the members of yeah, they're gonna okay now they're now they're holding now they're holding on different they might get struck uh, here oh. come the specials there Firing oh forward if you there. kill that that's huge down. can leapy close out on this player she is hiding in this position and will get taken out 10 more oh jackpot one a few more points down the oh. going forward never mind the zone the the vacuum. The, zone, the Hail Mary shot. The vacuum. The Phantom Thief of the Heart. One more chance. Four seconds away was Jackpot. A 64-second penalty. Left. 
two and a half minutes left. We might just have to go the full time here because that's a lot of time. All of a sudden, Jordan has to be watching my stream. He just said the same thing I was saying. Slowly chipping away at that penalty, and now they just need to regroup here. Nine, take a deep breath, and try to close this out. And I guarantee. To be very honest, I think Jackpot wins this. Wins this. They have been controlling this game for a long time. Phantom Thief has not had any good looks. They got such a good penalty right now. And yes, Leafy's going to go down there, but she was tacticalered up. She's fine now. The other members. The strikes. The strike is going to get the zone again. Yep. They're going to see a Trizuk out to try to find a couple of these players. Jordan, they are A-OK giving up a few more points. Under two minutes left, you've got control for Phantom Thief here in just a moment as they try to threaten. They're finally out of their penalty. I don't know penalty. how Japan's getting picked off so easily. They're inching a little so bit closer to 143 left. But they're getting they picked off control. every single here engagement. Here comes Jackpot. They've got 50 seconds left in their penalty. Jackpot's they're getting picked off like of every single time. Every, they can't, like, they, they get the zone, but they just the like, map, lose it straight away every single time. Built up. It's all sorts of pressure coming in from Dot Q. Firing and it just feels like Japan's getting very, very desperate. Oh, yeah, they won. Resource out of the way That's here, it. Jordan. They're gonna swim forward. There's 20 penalty points left, and even fewer with that now. Yeah, Another it. goes down here. They're diving. Sanku is Never mind. He's at the oh, zone, no, the strike hole. Be enough. Four seconds, three yeah, seconds, it's over. two. It goes through the end. And Jackpot That's are your win, world dude. champions from North America. Good stuff, man. The journey is over. The pop off is complete. That was their goal. That was what they set out to do. They had to overtake some of the most dominant teams in good North stuff. America. They did it one step at a time. And it's always good to see to almost be not Japan win. The semifinals, 100%. Jackpot rises to the occasion. Very good stuff. Dominant fashion leaves no doubt as they win the finals over Phantom Thief of the Heart and claim the first ever world championship. But honestly, Jackpot was just the better team. Oh, and Jordan, they won all throughout. Too. Rules are out, they especially when they're, how they're playing. Game. They won the Clam Blitz game, they won the Tower Control game, and they won the Rainmaker game. No funny business, no stronger on some modes than other. If you want to be a world champion, you have at least to how it looked like at all of them. And you just that's look insane, at the man. Faces of Jackpot there. So elated. Well, no game five, no, no game seven, though. <laughs> if anything, though. No one can speak about um, them winning the game five tough and not deserving it too. Have to execute, and they faced all kinds of adversity today. They dropped a game yesterday in their seating. They if we're gonna be real, too. Even get a single win today. They almost went home with. If we're gonna be real, dude. On day two of this tournament, instead they because they dominate. Hundred percent. I mean, for these players who have been putting in so much effort over and over. Oh, my goodness, what a show they put on. Now we'll get a chance to hear from the champions their thoughts after this title. The winning world champs has been a dream of all of ours for over seven years. To do it with these guys, it's an absolute dream, man. I'm so proud of all three of you. You guys are amazing. I love you all. And thank you all to the family, friends, and fans that have been supporting us for so long. We love you all. Thank you so much. Just the love and adoration for all the support, all of North America. And they had so much help along the way. The Insane, man. Teams that helped them scrimmage. And we've seen this team. Nine, we remember calling the their cereal was also very good, by the way. Team name and some of these online Don't you guys forget that. Getting dropped I'm out eating the cereal and it's finals. very, very good. Not able to necessarily dominate everybody, but they got better and better and better. And to execute at this moment when their backs were up against the wall, the mark of a champion. Yeah, where's the announcement? No, get Nogami and stay. This is probably like the most stressful month of my life. Wait. We were honestly struggling a lot when we were playing other people. And to just like play good on stage, it felt amazing. I really wanted to win this. No cap. <laughs> no, 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 no Japanese translation for no cap, but either way, <laughs> the honesty of just this month, it, it is I have to tweet again. You know this is looming. And listen, this is no surprise that we weren't sure what this was going to look like this championship as well but for this team to wait as long as they did and to prepare and to think about this for as long as they had to then you come here in this moment and you execute and leave no doubt about it going 4-1 nothing, nothing like else to say i mean i think it's nice that um you're the first uh, two women to win the world championship which is pretty cool that is and big by the way like, um, the that is Western huge Western teams that were willing to practice can we actually talk actually wait hold on can we actually talk about that? He says it right there. 
two women winning it. it is, two women uh, it's a very winning the game. world it's championships in an esports very, game. It's very, very hard to make this game open and accessible That's to huge. players of all ages. And Can we talk genders, about that? Creeds, and it's just incredible, again, to see when hard work pays off. Because that's, like, that's like something said, that's a lot never happened before, I'm pretty sure. This, and oh, I'm, I it, they really well, maybe it has, but I haven't seen it feels pretty amazing. But that's insane, uh, dude. What we received is like indescribable. We like can't even put it to words how thankful I am for everybody. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for supporting us, and I hope this is the era of jackpot. So triple sevens come up for jackpot, and to do it in the way that they did nine. And I go back to that semifinal set against Kaiser, where Kaiser was huffing and puffing after those first two victories. All of a sudden, jackpot, just something awoken in them it felt like and they were able to rise to another level and claim this championship and to do it on the road and for the first time for north america since arguably 2017 historic when it comes to the scene of competitive splatoon when they say seven years they mean it all oh the there work, he is all the work. oh there he on is the right now volume up volume up he's gonna speak to present what a trophy. He's giving him the plate. Madness, hold it tight. I have a bowl. It's almost just as good. <laughs> a bowl of cereal. <laughs> so just the joy, the jubilation. As they pointed out, I think what a lot of people don't realize is everything that happens behind the scenes to get to this moment. The preparation, all the hours, all the sacrifice, all the stress, all the thinking about it. And then you get to this day and to execute and now the relief, the sense of joy, the sense of jubilation. And all of a sudden, it completely changes the game when it comes to competitive Splatoon because North America has made a statement. Give a lot of credit to Kaiser. Kaiser almost knocked this team out. <laughs> Guys, I got a bow. こう、<笑><笑> So Mr. Nogami-san with some words for Jackpot, the champions, and he went around and visited everybody and just everybody's appreciation and adoration of Nogami-san. It's a beautiful day to for to know Japanese. And what do you mean? We can listen to, to Jordan, Ken, and Nine Hole Grange really special. And that's one thing we talked about, the World Championship Splash Tag, a special splash tag featuring the winning team's Inklings and Octolings. Immortalized is the term oh, that we like to say the as Inklings Jackpot on that will forever go down in Splatoon 3 lore. So we can all use that, but it's the Inklings. Nobody can take that away from you at any point. That's sick. The trophy, it's great. The memories are great. I doubt to top it off, you are a piece of your favorite video game. Just uh, don't be surprised when other people are wearing your T-shirt in the game, my friend, because we're <laughs> if it's a publicly available splash tag, I mean, why not? Sport Forever colors, immortalized. You imagine you are in Splatoon 3. Well deserved for your Jack inkling is now about in their Splatoon journey, 3. How they had to get here, and then of course this competition was so challenging. You look at what Kaiser did to them. I mean, don't get that lost now, at all. I hope all of you guys make content about this. You see some of the other teams. Make their way onto stage. You will need to make a video. I won the Splatoon 3 World Champs. Credit to Unadon or something and like that. Able to do in the first time representing South Korea and then Smart Roast Chickens. All of you lot need to do that. And the Greasy Goblins making history for Australia. This is like Zealand. the perfect of opportunity. Course, Phantom Thief of the Heart showing people just how strong of a team that they can be. And then Kaiser, of course. Just surprising. But none of those teams were able to knock You'll make the video? Pot. And Jack Maybe, I'll the the <laughs> Maybe I'll make the video. Maybe I'll make the video. I think you pointed it out well. When Doc, you got back. <laughs> Maybe I'll make the video. Who knows? Like a completely different team. And that's what I'll make it. Do for you when you have a few options that you can change. You can come back to. 
it really does make all the difference. But Jordan, you brought up something so big here, and I, I said this yesterday. Two new regions here at the World Championship. One competitor for the region reaching new heights. All right, so just need to also I, include really every other European you know, region, and then we're going so to have a this game. We're gonna have a There's festival. There's so much love for the game as telling the you know. give the heart for the world who has supported them. But, we're going to have a festival. Uh, there's no telling where we'll go from here, Jordan. And that's what you want to see. You want to see more regions represented as this game continues to grow. Do you have anything to say for us, Nagami? That's one thing about Why is there no translator? Because they're in Japan, they don't need one. He loves seeing the product, loves seeing the competition, make sure to Visit and say hi to everybody. Latin America needs one too. Yeah. Canada it needs their own so team. Much to him. It means so much to the Don't forget about Canada. It's North America, but Canada is a different, different country. That everybody has to make Splatoon into what it has been in such a short period of time in the grand scheme of things when it comes to mm. video games. Mm. What has happened from 2015 to now? It is a movement, Nine. <sighs> An incredible movement it has been, and there's so much Jack love, but today, there is one champion. Jackpot. Jackpot, once again, a round of applause for you. Your very first Splatoon 3 world champion will live on forever in the history of Splatoon 3, in the game of Splatoon 3, and man... To come down from this, how do you go back to real life? How do you go back to real You don't. To Your life, life changes from this point on, Nine. You've got a splash tag as well. No, call me. Please so say something. What a wonderful day of competition. We no. saw some unbelievable sets here, and it was capped don't off leave. by Jackpot winning the no. championship in, in Nine. You have been such a big part of this game as well, too. And, you know, we get a chance to really Where's check my out one of these something. just great production <laughs> things we've seen from this team involved with everything. Let's go ahead and check out again real briefly the sights and sounds over the last two days of competition. All Where's my Splatoon 4? So They've worked so hard <laughs> to get to this point. And, Nine, what do you take away? Um, just the growth of this game and having it culminate in this championship. That's a joke, by the way, last just in days. case anyone's just serious. just makes me so me hopeful for the Splatoon future 4. of this game as well. And <laughs> Listen, you don't get this far without incredible effort, as you said, but also without incredible love for the game, desire I have to, to stay push just it in case. forward and, and to grow. And Jackpot is a team that almost didn't even occur in Splatoon 3. There was a real question for them if they were going to reform from their other teams or if they were going to focus on other things. And, you know, them coming back together, I think, speaks to the spirit of what the competitive Splatoon scene is all about, which is that we love this game. We will continue to I do play love this game. and push it as time has gone on. And you saw Guys, today, wait, they might. They might. Who stuff, knows? They gave each other everything they could handle. And I would say, too, Nine, that this is the best place the competitive scene has ever been in over the last nine to seven years for the most part because the opportunity. This is a situation where a team like Jackpot that you mentioned might not even form. And this is a team that was taken to the brink today. Just a couple of sloshes of ink away from being eliminated by Kaiser. There is so much talent out there that it is up for grabs any given year. And at this point, you've got to be excited. If you are a team that maybe didn't compete here, wait, wait for all it. you are is potentially for the it. very next jackpot if you're willing to put in that work, Guys, that wait effort, for it. and that sacrifice. Well, and also, in the spirit of competition, there are a whole lot of teams out there today that are saying we can beat Wait Jackpot. for yep. it. And you know what? There may be some teams Hold. that can. And that's what makes this so exciting, Jordan, is we're going to go back. There's going to be more community-run events. There are going to be more official Hold. events in the future, we hope. And they're going to get your you're going to get your chances Hold. to go at the world champion. And for Jackpot, Holding. you heard Leafy say it at the end. I hope this is the era of Jackpot there. They have their sights set on a big, broad future where everybody will remember this as their era. And... Listen, it's hard to get to the top, and it's even harder to stay there once everyone's coming at you. Yeah, we've talked about it before. Once you have the target on your back, you've given people something to aspire to and rise up to. We saw so many teams come here and really outperform their capabilities, and that's what was exciting. Everybody rose to a different level once they hit the big stage, and it sets a new path forward as far as the possibilities 
in this scene, and you're thrilled for a team like Jackpot. We know how much that's meant to them just coming from North America as well. They come here, and they're able to deliver on a life-changing moment. You only get so many chances at this, Jordan. I mean, years ago when you and I worked the World Championship in 2019, this was becoming a, a yearly endeavor there, and we just foolishly assumed <laughs> that we'll be back here, see you next tournament, same time, same place, and we will fight it out once again. We'll crown another world champion here, and you just never know which opportunity will be your last, when something will change, when a team will disband. Even when the lifetime of Splatoon 3, Jackpot isn't even the first team to become <sighs> dominant. There have been so Are many teams him? that have come and gone <laughs> even in the first couple of years of Splatoon 3's lifespan. So what are you guys waiting for? difficult to hold on and, man, keep going back to the end of this game. As it ended off, and this is the tournament changer right here, how this ended. It was the best of five, game that five, Kaiser comeback game pump insane, track, though. turf war. We have never seen this type of excitement from Jackpot. You would have thought they won the championship there, but they understood just how close they were to getting knocked out in the great sportsmanship. And that set the stage just around the corner as Why well. Why are they yapping? Because they're talking about the events. Phantom Thief of the witnessed, Heart you know? steamrolled their way through the semifinals. They looked unbeatable. Hadn't dropped If they don't announce all, anything, that, you'll smile. Yo, I might smile as well. This is a team well, that looked dude. determined to claim the championship on their home turf, and you weren't sure I might, what they were I might pull to the a table. Smile. A team that was so talented at turf war. You guys don't like, like, we got like me modes, if I well, smiled. Not much change. They looked very, very good. Yep, they'd certainly lived up to the billing in their semifinal, and I know for them, they felt that they had a lot to prove coming into this event as well. Again, <laughs> what do you mean coaching, here? <laughs> a very, very difficult task, but it's so difficult to continue that over and over in these ranked modes against Jackpot in these longer sets. And a team that feels like they get stronger as time goes on. And I'm, I'm still listening out, just in case. Just game, in case. You never know. Not any answer for what Although Jackpot I feel like they would have done it by now. At that time, they were on a new level, and I mean... You, you could see him right there. They were at the back of the stage. They couldn't believe it. Arms in the air. Hugs all over. I think what really struck out to everybody was the fact that they mentioned how much they sacrificed to get to this point. To claim that championship after all the hard work, the hours of practice and scrims, and here it is, your champions. You can breathe a sigh of relief. It means the world. And so thank you so much again for joining us. Some unbelievable sets as we no, cap off I don't want this Platoon 3 World Championship 2024. Don't leave. For Jordan Cannon for nine and for our wonderful crew behind also, the scenes. Our can you please follow these two guys on Twitter? What an event it was. At Jordan the Ken, world at nine old Belongs Rains. to Jackpot. Your champions this year. They are the victors as they now get a chance to celebrate. From all of us here, take care, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Yeah, it's over. All right, no announcement then. No announcement. It's okay. There might be a Nintendo Direct this one. <laughs> there might be. Who knows? <laughs> no announcement, guys. This is where the script ends, all right? This is where the script ends. Also, the script about the Game 7 turf, um, unfortunately... That also did not happen. So it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. No game seven tough. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're not cooked. Don't worry. No, don't worry. We're fine. Look, we're fine. You guys are just overreacting, right? Because there's still so many weapons still to come out. They just released two new weapons. The likelihood of them being more weapons is still very likely. So don't worry, all right? It's gonna be fine. You guys are just cope. Also, I need to try, I wanna try something. I got this new contraption, actually. In case I don't wanna leak anything, I don't leak that press. It's a contraption that I wanna try out, all right? And you guys are gonna think, dude, you're crazy for this. But I'm not, alright? I just want to see because I was interested. Uh, here it is. What the heck? Alright. <laughs> you guys are going to be... I mean, this is definitely just not the same gamepad, but I go up, but... I basically got one of these, alright? I got one of these. Now, you might be thinking, what the heck is this thing? Alright? So since your boy has been playing... 
a lot of Splatoon 1. I played Splatoon 3 yesterday. I played Splatoon 3 yesterday. I was just like, man, holding this small dinky controller is really uncomfortable. So I wanted to try out what would it be like to control Splatoon 3, but with a controller that's like wider. So I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna try it on stream today, but I'm going to try it, try it out. I mean, this is a wireless controller, but that you put into your Switch or put the Switch in. But you can also just use it as a controller, so I, I just want to see how that works. I just want to see how that will work, alright? So. But yeah. Alright. Man. Yeah, hey, I might be crazy. I don't know. The forensic scientists did a diagnosis on me. They said that I was crazy. I didn't believe them. I don't think I ever will. But. It's also just a, a thing of. I want to try new things. So I just want to try something. Uh, does it support motion? It does have motion. I would not play it if it didn't have motion, so. All right, well, uh, sick tournament, sick. Um, sick. All right, dang man, Jackpot won world champs. You know how long it's been since a team has won world champs? Seven years, seven years, wait, no, five years, wait, no, six years. <laughs> I'll be right eventually. <laughs> it's in like six years. So, North America winning... Uh, North American winning again. Very, very big. But at the same time, just watching it back, like, that... Japan... Like, Jackpot just seemed so much better than that team. And it wasn't even... It didn't even feel that close. I mean, it was close, but like... Besides the Dynamo game. Maybe the Japan should have just brought the Dynamo again, dude. Maybe they should have. <laughs> I'm not know. Either way, um, yeah, that's the tournament. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are going to sleep now. I don't blame you. I'm so, I'm pretty sure the guys who just woke up, just like me, are also going to sleep. I also don't blame you. But this was a cool stream. Watch parties and all that. Streams like this, very, very fun. I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that I, um, I'm not doing it later. Because I had a thought of doing it later, but no, I'm glad that I did it now. So... Yeah, I hope you guys had a good time watching me. It was a good time. Um, I may or may not stream later today. It just depends on how I feel. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, man, we had good vibes, didn't we? Yeah, no, the vibes are good. That's what. That's why. That's why. Uh, that's why I thought it'll be good. The, the vibes are good, you know. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the vibes. You know, I need to test this controller. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a test. And hopefully, it works. So, um, and then I'll stream it one day. Maybe tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. Not tomorrow, actually. It's Monday. All right, guys. Um, yeah, man. Have a good sleep. Have a good rest of your day. Have a good start to your morning. Go to work or something. And, um, or don't go to work. Take a day off or something. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> have a good one, guys.